interview hopefully they, they they tune in welcome back to man now sports man we got an episode a makeup episode for y'all because we uh we missed our full panel friday yesterday some stuff came up man so we're trying to get uh this episode out this week uh on a saturday which is not normal for us to do we still gonna be doing it on fridays but today we gotta we gotta do it on saturday uh, i see some people already coming in let, let me know uh who all up in here in the comments and uh let me know where y'all from and all that stuff man should be a good episode man uh we got lamar from iw sports I forgot to link his YouTube uh, uh, channel in the description, which I do right after the show, so y'all can go and subscribe to Wildcard Mars and IOW Sports uh, YouTube channel. Good content over there, good shows, uh, and, and y'all go see that from when y'all when, when y'all when y'all hear how he uh, speak about um, all these topics today, man. So uh, go ahead, you can do it right now, but make sure you come right back, finish this episode. But definitely, if you don't do it right now, do it as soon as we finish. Uh, go subscribe to IOW Sports. Uh, and like I said, I'll put the link in the description to make it easy for y'all. Other than that, how is everybody doing? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I, I feel like a play cousin that came back to the fam, bro. I was like, ah, oh, damn, man, down in blue water. I was like, shit, but nah. I was, uh -huh. I was, I was uh -huh. chop, chop it up with the fam, man. It's just good to be here, man. You know, we doing good, man. Uh, Obviously, me and Jay got something to be happy about. We about, you know, one sleep away from, you know, dawning another championship. But Lord have mercy. You know, we good, man. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy boy. Hey, I, 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 you know what, man? Hey, I, I, man, because because you've been you've been sneak dissing on my squad all football season. So I've been I've been I've been real. Sneak. Cool. Oh, yeah. You've been it, you, it, it, it ain't been no sneak about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, been wide <laughs> open to it. <laughs> Why <Wide> open this? <laughs> I want y'all to lose, man. I'm ready for it. Uh, I'm ready for it, man. I mean, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feel no way if y'all win. I'm just gonna be like, man, hey, yeah, them boys. Hey, nobody can beat them. Them boys deserve it. You know what I mean? So if it happened, it happened. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm ready for that loss, baby. I'm ready for it, man. You ready for that? Hey, I will for say, it. I will say this: it's been a lot of talking heads on the on the national talking stage. Yeah, they've been they've been hating on us all season. Now, now this week, they flipping over, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about. It. I don't know how you feel about it, Jay. I, I don't feel too too good about it. Like it is what it is, though. Y'all did look like poo most of the season, though. I mean, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> but no, nah, seriously. But look, let's go ahead and get into this stuff, man, because we got to get into this NBA. Uh, this junk gonna be good, man. We got to get into this. Uh, uh, this episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the best place to play fantasy sports. I want to tell you about the easiest way to get in on some NBA action with Underdog Fantasy and their pick 'em game. Just find your favorite player or any player for that matter, pick higher or lower on that player's stats and you can win up to 20 times your money in one night. Pick between two or five players to fill your pick em entry, get every pick right, and you can net yourself some serious cash. Use the promo code MANDOWNSPORTS and you can get your deposit doubled up to $100. You got to check on the map to make sure your state is eligible to play Underdog Fantasy, but as soon as you do and if your state is, go ahead and download Underdog Fantasy's app Use the promo code Man Down Sports, and you can, like I said, you can get that a hundred dollar uh, match on your first deposit. And I would want to thank Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring Man Down Sports. Um, so twenty twenty four is the year of Kobe. Twenty four mm -hmm. is the year of Kobe, right? And man, Kobe must be looking down on us from heaven, man, because ever since I've been talking about Kobe, the channel has been blowing up, and I'm gonna be talking about him all twenty twenty four. And I probably won't stop until we get to twenty four uh, thousand subs. I mean, <laughs> I might not stop till we get to twenty four thousand subs. And then even when we get to twenty four thousand subs, then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it going until we get twenty four sponsors. You know what I mean? So so <laughs> we just we just see how that go, man. But. We're going to talk about COVID today, man, uh, because, you know, of, of course, the news came out that he's getting three trophies uh, in front of the uh, stable Center, which is going to be crazy. Or is in front of crypto. I'm sorry. In front of crypto. Same Nobody shit. has three. Staples is Staples. No, it's crypto. It's crypto. Okay. But even even all the, the commentators and the analysts was like when speaking about Kobe and the house that Kobe built is Staples. That's it, fair. It will always be Staples. So that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But look. All them Laker greats, Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Magic, none of them dudes, Jerry West, none of them dudes getting three statues, not even two. 
Kobe's getting three, mm-hmm. uh, w- which is crazy. Uh, so the first one came up uh, last week and all that stuff, man. And, you know, everybody was talking about it. So I, I want to play for y'all what Gills Arena, Kenya Martin, and all them w- was talking about Kobe. They was, they was basically talking about the greatness of him, you know, just remembering him. And they was talking about uh, how unguardable he was. This is why This is why someone like this deserves three statues in front of the Lakers. They want to make it clear that this is the best. I mean, a lot of people might say they're doing it because he passed away, but they, they're making it clear this is the best Laker we've ever had. Magic has made that clear. This is the best Laker of all time. It's not even close, right? Uh, but listen to how King Martin talked about how Denver would scout against him. And I, I'm going to play it, and I want to come back and get y'all thoughts on it. Can you, can you, what was the, the Nugget scouting report and other teams obviously you played on when trying to – obviously not going to stop Kobe, but trying to contain him as much as possible? Um, unfortunately, I've been on the wrong end of playing him on the biggest stage, playing him in the finals, uh, Western Conference finals. <laughs> There's not one single defense or not one, not two coverages that you can put. It just, you've got to try to make it tough as possible. Do your work early. Make him catch the ball and where you want him to catch it. But and instead of two dribbles, you might have to take three. You might and instead of it, it's just certain things you need to do early and do your work early. And yeah, that was just main thing, man. Like, cause you know what he's what he's capable of doing. So instead of forty, then you probably let's try to keep that to like twenty nine, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you can, but. No, it, it was there was no yeah, there's no scouting report for Kobe Bryant. Because in he's worked on all deficiencies. Mm-hmm. So anything that you could try to force him to do, I gotta counter for that. Okay, you wanna take that way, I gotta counter for that. And you can take this out, okay, this is what I've been working on. And just he's proved it with the whole clip, him shooting left hand fadeaways and turn around jumpers. Like there's no They thought he was fucking going to go out of the game. <laughs> right? Oh, we up 20. Oh, he going to go out of the game. We going to win. No. Joke's on you. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> right? Yeah, no. Nah, there's no scouting report for Kobe Bryant. So try to make it tough as possible. Um, Low volume shooter. Use your six. Mm-hmm. And, and good luck. Try to make it tough. Use your six fouls and good luck. That's the scouting report. <laughs> Bro, not he didn't he didn't say put him on a free throw line. He didn't say go under the screens. He didn't say blitz him on the screen and rolls. He didn't say get physical with him, right? Because that's that seemed like it works for Kevin Durant. Like you know, that's real. That's no real scouting report for KD unless you get super physical with him. Like that's that's the scouting report. You got to get him. You got to get physical with him, and it works if you got the right personnel. But. No, nobody's really saying like how how do you stop Kobe? Like what 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 do you do, man? So when you keep hearing people say stuff like this about this dude, he worked on all his deficiencies and he made them strengths. Uh, like wh- what what does that say about Kobe? And is there is there any other player other than Mike that you can say that about? I think, I think that's as close as you get to Mike. I mean, when you're talking about uh, uh, no weaknesses. I mean, that's that's pretty much what what Kenyon Martin is saying. He's like, bro, ain't got no weaknesses. Uh, uh, so how how do you stop somebody that ain't got no weaknesses? He said the best way you can hope is to hold them at twenty nine. Man, okay, let me average twenty nine a game. I'm in a different type of lifestyle, baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's, let's be honest, with what we talking about? I mean, that that that's the that's the that's the strategy you got is use six fouls and play tough defense. I mean. Come on, man. We 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 talking about uh, uh, you know this this when you hear stuff like that, it makes me question like why does Kobe always get passed in the goat conversation? I don't mean to bring that up, but I just gotta I just gotta be honest, dog. Like how, how can you not put him in that conversation? If, right. if if you say if you say Mike is a goat, and for those who say it, and, and they say Mike is a goat, Kobe's if he if he's not like. If he's under him, it's, it's it's not by much. Yeah, and that's gonna and that's gonna be a real good conversation because T Mac actually said that same thing. We are gonna get to that after after, after we uh chew the meat off this bone. But 
Paul. I Paul, mean, Paul. you make a good point, though, man. <laughs> I, 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 I get it. I, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, I, I ain't say suck the meat off the bone. Come on, man. I said chew the meat off the bone, man. That makes it obvious. That we, come on, bro. Come on, man. This, uh, this, right, this is what we're doing we're already. We here. We here. Ten minutes in is what we doing. Ten minutes in. <laughs> hey, 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 you got it, man. It's your show. We good. Bro. We good. We good. It's your show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Chris, I, I didn't say to, one word. No, I, I was didn't say one word. It was the look, and that's what sent me. Jay, Jay, <laughs> Jay made the look. <laughs> we good. We good. We good. It's not as bad as it could have been. We good. We good. Oh, man. But yeah, no, like, I, yeah, but, but I mean, your thoughts, though. No, I feel, I mean, Lamar said it, and I, I've been thinking the same thing for, for years, man. If Kobe is the, the closest thing to, who a lot of people have as number one, how does that not make Kobe number two? Everybody been, you know, passing over, uh, you know, Kobe with LeBron and everything. And LeBron is going to have his own conversation soon, but you can't, if there's a copy of the goat, then there, then that means there's goat part two, which is, it's gotta be Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then to, to say, that there's no you don't you don't scout you don't game plan for Kobe you just go out there and, and wish you luck. That I mean you never heard that about LeBron. There's plenty of, of things you could say to to game plan or scout well, for LeBron. Here, here, well, to, 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 go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, no. I, I think I I think you about to say the same thing I was about to say. No, 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 no. Go ahead. But because I was going to answer uh, a question he had earlier about why they're not. Uh, why you don't hear Kobe in the GOAT conversation like that? Uh, well, well, hit, well, well, read the Super Chat, answer that question, and then go into what you were about to say. All right. Kobe can play LeBron in a game of 10. I don't think James will score. James needs spacers and picks <sighs> to get to the basket. James has no moves. We all know it's MJ, Kobe, then everybody else. I like um, good comments. Shout out, shout out to Adidas 20 zero for the Super Chat. That's a great yeah. comment. Uh, you know, shout, shout out for the super chat. However, uh, Brian would definitely score. I don't think he would win, but Brian would score. Uh, he, yeah, he, I agree. He's too uh, big, Pauls. Uh, now, Chris, uh, I think at one point in time, you was getting the Kobe uh, debates while he was playing. And then uh, the Lakers like started to suck. They didn't give him no help for a while. And it kind of fizzled out because the Lakers wasn't winning. And then Kobe had the uh, Achilles injury. And then it kind of, you know, uh, and it's not even a fun, uh, it's not a fun conversation. So if you think back to when MJ was tearing the league up by storm, they was comparing them to Dr. J. You always got to uh, compare it to a player who's a player who's currently playing to a player who's no longer playing. Mm -hmm. So the fact that both of their careers are over, uh, the general consensus is Kobe didn't do enough to pass Mike, so Mike is still the torch. You know what I'm saying? He, didn't, nobody, he, he, nobody, he didn't do it. He didn't do enough to pass him on paper. On paper, right? right. But it, but as a player, but, he was right there, and that counts. And, for something and, like and if you look, if if, if you're looking at, at just the eyeball test, um, I think Kobe may slightly have been. A better uh, looking player to me. Um, First of all, shout out to what you just you you just gave me a new thing when you said I, most people say eye test, but when you said eyeball test, I thought of a T shirt where it's not spelled like the eye; it's like eyeball. Yeah. And oh, hey, 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 hey we need to. Hey, we about to, we need to start selling merch. We need to start selling merch. I'm man, all this, baby. man, man down hoodies and shirts, man. <laughs> the eyeball, eyeball. But, but, but no, nah, I think, yeah, I think um, Kobe and, and Jordan, what they have in common is that they got where they were by will and work. You know what I'm saying? And LeBron was naturally God given talent. It's just, he was blessed. Like, and I'm not saying that he doesn't work hard or whatever to, to maintain it, but dude, could, dude came out came out the womb could hoop probably. You know what I'm saying? 
And I mean, he 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 got the body of a uh, you know he. I mean, you can't duplicate that even if you got in the weight room. You you know, it's it's dudes like Brandon Bass who got that same body, or Carl Malone who got that same body, but they're not running like that or right. jumping like that. You He's get what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, that was already God given blessed ability, and then yeah, he worked on his game just like every other pro did. But um, um, I don't well, know. I, I, I don't know if he worked on his game as much as Kobe and Mike. I think what his will, uh, what what was missing was his will. Like, I think I think LeBron really just wanted to be the best in the league for several years, and I think Kobe and Mike wanted to be the best ever. I think that was not no. I think LeBron wanted to be the best ever too, but he just went a while about it a different not, way. This not, is this is my opinion. This is my listen, opinion right here. So so so. Um, Let me change that. I think LeBron wanted to be the best ever. I think Kobe and Mike wanted to be the greatest ever. So, all right. So, once again, this is this is this is me speaking. And what I think all three of them wanted to be the best ever because LeBron has said he wanted to be the goat and he wanted to be the best ever. The only difference is Kobe's uh, Kobe's idea of being the best ever is actually working on his game so much that he was actually a better player than Mike. And then once he got better than Mike as a player or as good as Mike as a player, he's going to take that showcase it on the, on the highest stage and win at the highest level. LeBron said, I want to be the greatest ever as well. And he, instead of looking at Mike's game and saying, let me get my game as sharp as Mike, he said, let me look at what Mike got on paper and see if I can pass it. So he wanted he wanted more he wanted more than six rings, which Kobe did too. They wanted more than six rings, but then when LeBron realized how hard it was to get uh, six rings, he was like, "Well, Let if I play, <laughs> yeah, if I play, if I play long enough, and I go get Kareem's record, and I and I get I get some rings. I got to get some rings, three, four. Okay, that's cool. I'm close enough. To let me make up the uh, the ground. He got three. Uh, by by uh, doing all this other stuff, getting a scoring title." Being top uh top ten in three statistical categories and all of that good stuff and then you know, I think that was his way about it because he felt like it was probably too hard to get his game as clean as Mike or Kobe's. It still ain't. Uh, no, he got, he got four. He got four. Uh, no, because no, 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 no. the bubble is half and the IST is half. <laughs> the in season tournament is not even. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I ain't no way we can in season tournament. In season tournament, getting a new name. Uh. But hey, shout out to the super yeah. chat. It says, uh, yes, James is big pose, and I was in his little pose again. Uh hmm. it comes to ability. Kobe and MJ can score 40 playing one on five, and James need all uh four all stars to score 40. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not certain about that, but I appreciate your thoughts. Oh man. Hey, but but at the same time though, like what 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 LeBron year in? What year 22? Year 23? Year, year twenty. Sit the sit down. Okay. Well, 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 well. Your stat pad. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that started five years ago. Hey, I, <laughs> I, I, I ain't mad at that, dog. I ain't mad at that. But wait. But here's the thing, LeBron. We still can poke holes into his actual game of of actually playing basketball. Absolutely correct. In year twenty two, twenty three. We can still point at sir. This dude still ain't even a, a above eighty percent of the free throw shooter, bro. What are we no. doing? What no. are we doing? Free throws? We call them free throws. The the shot that literally nobody can object to anything you do it, and all you got to do is just shoot. Exactly. So so th that's that's a that's a, a a weakness in this game. We seen his uh, uh, what he got in in his actual bag. If he can't if he can't run like like uh, King Henry. To the hole. I mean, mm, handoffs. I mean, he ain't got no handles. In fact, look, look at the, look at the comment. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, let's 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 call a spade a spade. LeBron, LeBron is a fullback. Him and Giannis almost got the same game. I like Pretty both, of them, but they if they can't get to the cup, there's a problem. You know, it's not like they mid range is consistent. It's not like they th they a consistent three point shooter. Can LeBron make them? Yeah, he can make them. Uh, I, I think, I he think make LeBron them a lot better than Giannis too. I, I, I think LeBron okay, weighed yeah. maybe about 
six six or eight years too long to work on this jump shot. Way too long. You know what's weird though? LeBron came as an in as a Ricky pulling that mid range jump shot. You get what I'm saying? But and, and it might have right. and, and it was good. And you know, uh, but but the game the game was still made for that shot. Rip Hamilton was still taking that shot. Kobe mm-hmm. was definitely taking it. Michael Red. You know, uh, Billups, Michael, I, I, Iverson, uh, Camelo, Anthony, everybody was taking that mid range because Kobe had to, you know, he was doing it just like Michael was doing it. But once LeBron started to take over the league, the league kind of changed to a more wide open pace. And I, at some point, I don't know when LeBron said, I'm just not messing with the mid range no more. I'm just, just get me shooters. I'm going to get to the hole or I'm going to pass it to an open shooter. You, you get what I'm saying? And I think he, he by the time he got to Dallas, he didn't even had a mid range no more. Mel, you, I, I think, I think, yeah, yo, I'm, go, go I, ahead, I, my fault. I, I think while working on uh, extending his jump shot, it messed up that mid range jump shot. Like, Z, Z Man said he got bigger. Yeah, it, yeah, trying to fix, trying to fix anything that was wrong with his three point shooting messed up what was working with his mid range. That's possible. And, and, he probably changed his shot. Yeah, you've seen a whole lot of players do that. Yeah, but I think I think him getting bigger was 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 a factor as well because he did balloon. You know, he did get bigger from when he was a rookie. But that wasn't that's not a real excuse because Carl Malone got that same huge uh, shoulders and his his mid range shooting touch was phenomenal. And Chris Webber was huge too, and he had like three different uh, shoulder surgeries. Remember, he kept popping his shoulders out of place in uh, Washington. Mm. And and, and, he, and yeah, and when he shot his jump shot. It was hard, and he had a a, a sweet touch from mid range, so it ain't no excuse. It ain't no excuse. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to what T Mac said. So so T Mac, uh, he was you know I, I can't even find out what show it was because the only clip that's going on that's going around about um about what T Mac said was on a on a short, is on a reel. Mm-hmm. So I I can't even find the podcast he was on to see the full clip, man. But he was asked about. Kobe Bryant and 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 he was just dumbfounded that he that people don't consider him a top five player of all time. This is what he said. They say Kobe ain't top five. Get out of here! You kidding me? And guess what they say? The reason why he's not top five? Oh, because he played with Shaq. Okay, did Magic Johnson play with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was the all-time leading scorer? But you want to sit here and talk about Kobe playing with Shaq? You got to play with great players to win championships, right? Why are we excluding Magic Johnson playing with James Worthy, Michael Cooper, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Hall of Famers, bro? You want to associate Shaq with Kobe? But then when with Shaq leaves, he goes to get Paul Gasol and wins two more, but plays for three and wins two more. They so did disrespectful when it comes to being bro they talking about he ain't better than mj well he can't be top five he's not better than mj what he's the closest thing to mj well tell me the other mother that that's close to mj there that played the game who else is close to mj ain't nobody else close to mj so how was he excluded out of this conversation if he's close to mj and mj is the greatest of all time him all right, that's T Mac saying it, and and this is stuff that I've said. This is stuff that Chris and and Lamar y'all just said five minutes ago. How can you be the closest thing to MJ and everybody admit that you're the closest thing to MJ and also admit that MJ is the goat and someone who is just as good as MJ? How is he not the goat as well? Right. So that's the question. Y'all can answer it real quick. I'm gonna open the phone lines up and and I want to hear everybody call in and give us y'all opinion on everything we said. The you know from from uh, uh, Kobe being a, fl- a flawless player in some guy's mind and saying that there was no game plan for him. Y'all can comment on that, but I definitely want to hear y'all comment on why people don't have Kobe uh, top five. But uh, I'm a- go ahead, open the phone lines up. And uh, Lamar, go ahead, hit, 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 tell us what you think. Man, I, I, I think it's just because it's a generational thing. Obviously, some people a little bit, you know, around our age group and up, we'll say MJ. And then you'll see some of the, the younger ba- basketball fans, mm-hmm. they'll say LeBron. I just think it's more, I think it's more actually media driven than anything to have that conversation between LeBron and MJ just, just because it, it brings barbershop mm-hmm. talk. It also, mm-hmm. all you know, conversation uh, starters for basketball fans in the barbershop, whether you at work, water cooler talking. I just think it's always been like that. I think it's just more media driven. It's not to me. It's not more based off of actual basketball. Because if it was based off of actual basketball, Kobe's name would have been mentioned a long time ago. I, I just think it's just media driven. Um, I mean, 
you gotta you gotta think about a lot of these cats watching ESPN and FS1 nowadays that are gonna be driven by that conversation between LeBron and MJ, and they're not necessarily always including Kobe in that. So I just think it's that. All right. Well, we got uh, two callers on the line. Uh, uh, we got one from uh, a three three two area code. Um, I let you go. Hold on. Where is three three two? I don't know. There's a lot of people calling in. Hey, uh, I I got two of y'all on the line. Uh, the uh, the three three two era code go first, but make sure you turn off YouTube in the background so I don't hear no no back no feedback. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, that's New York. Shout out New York. Three three two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here calling from Los Angeles. Okay, all yeah. right. What's your thought? Uh, yeah, but you know what? Uh, Kobe's been getting disrespected ever since LeBron came into the league. Oh, oh man, we lost. We lost him. Damn. It's, and we lost him. Hold on. He to get a good hey, one. but hey, but he, he opened up with some fire. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I get him back. Stay off that cricket uh, phone line, though. Nah, nah. It was, it was, it was the, it was so many calls coming in, and I, I tried to merge them, and um, and right, right when he started talking, it, it was trying to merge, and right when he started talking, it merged. And I don't know what happened. It was something crazy happening. Uh, operator error. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use an error over here. <laughs> Call, caller from New York, man. What's up? What's your name? What's going on, it's Calvin? What's up, Calvin? What's going on, yeah? First of all, man, don't ever disappear on a Friday again, man. That's hey, first and bro, <laughs> hey. So let me let me, let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. We apologize. Let me tell you what happened. Hold on, you 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 work on Fridays? Friday. You work on Fridays? Nah, nah. I was I was off yesterday, man. I was waiting for y'all all day. I was like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? And I see like right around, I think like seven. And I'm like, yo, where y'all at, man? Like, come on, don't, don't do that to us, man. Yeah, so what happened? What happened? It was my fault, man, because uh, I, we was getting ready for uh, the show. And then my daughter came home from school and was like, Dad, uh, I forgot to tell you, we got the um, we got the Valentine's dance today. Can you take me? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, all right, nah. Yeah. Uh, we're going we gonna, we gonna to give you a break for that one, man. And then uh, right, well, only, only we had a wrestling show. tournament. <laughs> listen, listen, man. I, I think I think Kobe's the greatest of all time. I think Michael's a close second, and that's no knock. Um, a person like myself, I would never knock Michael Jordan because I don't need to. Kobe's skills speak for itself. I don't gotta bring down Michael or anybody else because honestly, I think that's the only person I could have an argument for Kobe. I think it's Kobe, Mike, and then there's everybody else. I know personally for you. I think you got Kobe third, and that's cool and all, but I think it's Kobe and Mike. Everybody else is right after that. You know what I'm saying? But I think Kobe's in a category by himself, and I'll tell you why. First things first, things first in my opinion, Kobe's the greatest scorer of all time. I think Michael's up there, and I think that if Michael wanted to, Michael could have had a perimeter game if he chose to. If he played in a different era, he could have had a perimeter game, and I know that. But he, he didn't have a perimeter game like Kobe. Kobe had it all. He didn't have any flaws at all. Then, okay, offensively, we all know what Kobe could do. But defensively, Kobe was a dog too. And people don't even bring that up because of how great he was offensively. He was a dog defensively too. Then, number two, he played, in, in my opinion, the greatest ever in terms of uh, defensive matchup. Nobody had a go against dogs like Kobe went against dogs. If you look at just if, if if you could be honest and say, yo, I watch Kobe, forget the highlights. If you watch Kobe throughout his career, you would know on an every game basis he was going against dogs that was really guarding him for real. This look, you can see it. Yeah, I'm I mean, yeah, he was going against Bruce Bro and Tony Allen, Shane Battier. They was all Man. great defenders. Yeah, he was going against them. I, I, I'm going to say this one thing that I'm, I'm going to let you go because I got some other other people trying to come in, but that is a uh, that okay. So there, there's a lot of people that got Kobe number one, right? Um, right. But I, I can't agree that Mike didn't have a perimeter game. He he definitely did. Like he definitely did. Mike was a pure shooter. Kobe, but Kobe is everything Mike was. Uh, it's just is 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 just that when you bring in the resume and 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 what they was able to do with their skill set. Mike was able to do more, and, and and I think that's a little bit obvious. I don't, I, I don't know. I'll tell you another thing too. 
if you being real, after 04, when everybody left Kobe, Kobe the only one out of out of Michael and, and, and LeBron and all of them that didn't have a team at his prime. He the only one that had to go two and a half years without playing with nobody. He was by himself playing with, we know, with Smush, with, with, with Chris Mim and Devin George and all them boys. We know that. I now, got I think it. If, Kobe had, if Kobe had a squad for them two and a half years, you telling me that Kobe couldn't have won the winning ring in them two years? Because look what he did when he got Pat. And let me tell you something. You talking to a ten person seconds, who ten seconds. Pal. I love Pat. But look what he did when he got Pat. LeBron needs this one, this one, and that one. He did it with Pat. Uh, and them that's two and a half good point. years, he could have he definitely won a sixth ring if he had somebody with him in two and a half years. You know that. Yeah, Come on, man. I, I agree with you on that, man, and I, pre- I, I I appreciate the call. I got I'm, we go we go talk about that because uh, I mean you definitely make a good argument, but, but hey, thanks for the call, bro. Calvin, uh, uh, no problem, y'all. All right, all right, big dog. Calvin got himself a job. Remember those days. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's definitely a, Jay, man. What's your thoughts? I mean, it's definitely an argument for what he was saying when when you're comparing him to LeBron, but when you're comparing him to MJ, uh, I don't know, man. Jay, what's your thoughts? And then we get to uh, to the caller from South Carolina right after that. Go ahead. I mean, it's, a, <clears throat> it's always going to be MJ uh, as the GOAT, although I can understand where he's coming from in the sense that Kobe, uh, he, he looked better to the eye, you know what I'm saying, uh, at times, but but nah. nah I don't know. It's, I, it's it's tough, man. It's it's very similar. I don't know if he it, looked better. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's like uh, comparing a Denali to an Escalade. It's the same truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think his I think his uh ball handling pause was was a little bit better. Uh than, than, the same than trip. Yeah. Hey, hey, especially when the escalate first came out, he was looking just like a denial. He was just with a <laughs> <laughs> it's bro. The same <laughs> Call him from South Carolina. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I think I'm I'm kinda like you, man. I got um I got MJ the goat and then right behind MJ I got Kobe, man. Um the Kobe Probably uh, handled the rock better. Not probably. He did. He had better uh, handles than uh, MJ, and he was a better three point shooter than MJ. So I, I give that. I give that as to Kobe uh, for those two. Um, those two uh, categories. Right. Uh, defense. De- uh, defense. Like it's it's close, but I, I got to go with MJ because he did lead the league. And uh, block shot. Well, um, for not lead the league, but um, he he was um, he was a still he was the steel champion twice, and he, and and he's the all time. Yeah, leader. he was he's he was the all time leader yeah. uh and shot blocks for guards, but I think D Wade passed for him. guards. Yeah, and then um, I think there was a few seasons where he had two hundred uh, what two hundred um, steals and one hundred blocks. Yeah, so he was you know what I'm saying like when it came to defense, I mean if you if you really sit down and look at it like. That that edge goes to MJ, and then just you know, saying uh, overall dog. Yeah, Kobe had that overall dog too. Um, but I think the the I think MJ was like the top overall dog that had that overall yeah. dog. Yeah, because you I, hear I the story, you you hear the stories and the mentality, and you know that's where that's where Kobe got it from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's it's like. And, and another I, I and, and, an, and another thing, bro, is people forget about uh, the the nineteen eighties Mike when he was an athletic, just freak of nature. They forget they yeah. forget about that because he wasn't winning when he was doing it. But that that player, yeah, was was in a league of his exactly. own. That that's when everybody's saying he was playing against Palmer. He was making them look like Plumbers, man. But thanks for the call, bro. All right, man. All right, Carolina. Even real, real quick, yeah. real quick. I wanna, I wanna, cause I see a lot in the comments talking about like Kobe's field goal percentage being low and some of the shots that he took. But the reason why those numbers are the way it is is because when it came down to it, Kobe was taking that last shot, and I don't think anybody would have a problem with Kobe being the guy to take the last shot. And that's a part of just like you know the mentality that he had, the clutch factor and the clutch gene that he had. Or that he, you know, he he wanted to possess. Like, let me be. I'm gonna be the one that when it comes down to it, five people on the court in a Lakers jersey, I'm the one that's taking the shot. He, some of them went in, some of them hey, didn't. Chris. Hey, Chris. I, I don't think but he doesn't I don't think care about the stats. I don't think that's why. Well, first of all, I don't think his field goal percentage was low. Right? Well, not when, low, but no, they, no, they but, no, it was but like, it was you know, that was 44. It was 44 percent, and when you look at people who shoot 
mostly jump shots like Ray Allen and Klay Thompson, they're shooting around 44% as well. Ray Allen, we all know Ray Allen is a great shooter. He shot 44% for his career, and so does Klay Thompson. Because they're shooting mainly jump shots, and that's what Kobe did. He sh- his jump shot was so good and impeccable, he was shooting mainly jump shot. But the difference between Kobe is he was getting his own shot for his jump shot. He wasn't he wasn't doing what Ray and Clay was doing and well, running off screen. of staggered screens yeah. and getting wide open threes or, sp- yeah. or spacing the floor and getting nah. He was he was in his bag, jump shot, and it was always the best defender on him with a hand in his face. The hey, best hey. defender don't guard Clay. Hey, Mel, I think we need to take it a step further on also on Kobe's shot selection. I know a lot of people hate on Kobe, say he was a ball hog, he was this, he was that. Hey, man, but I love his, I love Kobe's mentality about it. Why would I give the ball to a dude that I know ain't going to work for it? Why would I give the ball to a dude that I know ain't put in the, uh, the time, the effort to, to work on his craft, and I'm busting my ass to do it? Hell no, I ain't giving you the ball. So I mean, they could they could knock on him on that. But my thing is, is I understand what Kobe coming from. Like like, my thing is, if, if we if we in the trenches, bro, and 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 this is war, you you ain't ready to shoot, man. Come on, man, wait, nah, man, you can't take that shot, dog, nah, man. Fall back. <laughs> go go, go, go to the screen. Go uh, you know, use your six personal fouls or something. Go do something else. But you're not getting a shot, dog. Nah. Yeah, and that's a, we're gonna that's a, we're gonna we're gonna take this last phone call because this this is the guy from California that that we hung up on by mistake. Hey, what's up, brother? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and finish what you were saying. No, no. What I was saying was, you know, when 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 LeBron came in the league, they put him above Kobe before LeBron had even won a playoff series, bro. I mean, the disrespect started way early. And then when you when you when you have the goat conversation, you look how many franchise players that LeBron played with, bro. Nobody had more help than LeBron. Uh, Kobe Kobe had Shaq at one time. Then he had Paul Gasol, and Jordan had Pippen. That's it. But when you look at LeBron, who we have D Wade, Bosh, all these dudes was franchise players. Man, Kevin Love was a franchise player. Ray Allen franchise. Anthony Davis, Carmelo, White. I mean, you know, I mean, come on now. If you, if you just go, you, you don't need that much help, right? Yeah. Yeah, he did yeah, a lot so. of help. Chris, what's your thought? No, I, I agree. And when you when you look at, like he said, Pippen for Jordan and then just Shaq and Powell, and you see the, the results that come from that, but then you look at LeBron's list and it's an entire all-star roster that can play in February. <laughs> <laughs> and the accolades still don't really add up to what Kobe and, and Mike did with three combined people. Like that you you can't you can't take that off the that's that's a knock. You can't you can't ignore that. Yeah, well, you can, bro. I mean one of the things, so, he's the reason the things. Oh, no, I'm saying LeBron is the reason why they got rid of the East West. They just now bringing it back this year. But LeBron was the reason who pushed pushed for them to have you uh, pick your own team because that's what he's been doing his whole career anyway. Picking his own, <laughs> picking his own team, you know. He, he got tired. Of, he got tired. Of, he got tired of getting killed. You know, he got tired of getting killed during the All Star game. So you know, so he was like, "Man, forget that, man. Let's let's pick our own team." We can't. Man, we know, can't confirm. We can't confirm that LeBron may uh, is the one who wanted that change. <laughs> hey, we can't confirm it tonight, but it's a it's a very <laughs> solid thing. It was a lot of murmurs going around the league that he helped push the league to do that, to go to pick your team. Because that's what, you know, and, that, and, and you can tell because that's what he's been doing his whole career, picking his own team. You know, so now we're going back to the East and West, you know, so we're going to see how that work out. But, man, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a diehard Kobe fan, man. I watched that boy grow up, man. I grew up in L.A. I watched him grow up. 20 years. A lot of Laker fans didn't want uh, LeBron here like I didn't because his goal was to pass Kobe in the Lakers uniform. I think, you know what? I think, have. look, I think I think he and Clutch Sports and uh, Rich Paul are really that uh, that uh, str- uh, sh- strategic. I really do think that him coming to L.A. had something to do with his legacy somehow and, and making sure that he I I, man, I really do think it's something behind that, which is which is why we're about to go to the uh, our next topic about him not even coming to his uh, statue uh, uh, revealing. So we go get to that, man. Thanks for the call, bro. Appreciate you, brother. All right, bro. All right. We got this last. We got this last. We got this last call from Georgia. What's up, big dog? Uh, hey, turn you to, you turn YouTube off in the background. 
Yeah, I'm walking out of the room now. All right, go ahead. All right, my thing with Kobe Bryant, it's like y'all push this narrative like Kobe didn't play with anybody. Lamar Odom was the number one pick. Hello, no, you said number one pick. That's false. But let me ask you this question about Lamar yeah, Odom. Let me ask, the first round pick. Yeah, first round pick. Let me ask you this question. Look, uh -huh. Lamar Odom's a power forward, right? He's a small forward, power forward. All exactly. right. So which 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 pick one? Small forward or power forward? Which one is he? I don't know. Any anytime a guy's interchangeable, you got to understand that they had Bynum. All right. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. By, by, Bynum and Lamar, Lamar Odom. Let's let's start with Lamar first. What do you uh -huh. rank Lamar Odom at all time in power forwards? You can't. You can't. No, no. Just, that's just a question, though. Do, do you got? Do you got him top ten? Top fifteen? Top twenty? No, you can't. You can't. So he's I'm not saying, top ten, okay. top fifteen, it's, top twenty, right? No, you can't rank him that high. But it's the same thing with like. Well, uh, no, no. But no, uh, hold on. Hold, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. Like, hold on. Bro, hold I'm, I'm, like, I'm going somewhere with this. Listen to me out. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I know where you're going with it. Let me say this. Okay, go ahead. If you can't rank him that high, do you think he's the best ten power forwards you ever seen play? I'm saying he would have been an elite player if he wouldn't have had all of. Is is he the best you ever? If, is he the is he the best? Because I'm looking at LeBron's help and Wade is easily a top five at his position. Kyrie I is agree. Ky I agree. Ky Kyrie is a, is a top five talent in his position, but as far as his resume, he won't he won't finish top five, but. He Chris definitely Bosch is top ten for sure. He, he he definitely top ten. I don't think Chris Bosh top ten for power forwards. There's too many great power forwards. But uh, I, I agree. Top I agree. But nah, I'd have, yeah. I, I'd have him trailing the, at the end of the top ten. Nah, it's too many. I mean, you you got uh, uh Duncan. Yeah, you, you got uh, you got Dirk. You got Weber. You got She. You got uh, Giannis. You got uh, Kevin McHale. You got Mailman. You got Barkley. That's already uh, eight right there. Hey, hold on, yeah, hold on. He, 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 I say trailing at the end of top ten, nine or ten. Bosh, I don't know, man. I don't know. You got to remember, Bosh was going. Bosh was going crazy in Toronto before yes, he went he to Miami. Where y'all got Bosh at top fifteen? I, I would say yeah, top, top fifteen for sure. Top fifteen. Okay, sure. okay. I, I, I buy it. I buy top fifteen. But my but my point is, we ain't got Bonham or Odom nowhere near that. So we're not gonna use Bonham and Odom. But go ahead no, and finish no, your no, point. But, but but you still had to look at the potential. Uh, no, when no, it, no. It's no, every every person that was in for in the top in it, that was, is that the fact. It, it, if we go say that, then Johnny Flynn got the uh, potential because he was oh, drafting the lottery. Stop right off, I'm stop when the Lakers when the <laughs> when the Lakers drafted when they drafted uh, what's that center name? Uh, I'll finish your point though. You said Kobe had help, and you said uh, Odom, yeah, who's not a top twenty-five yeah, at his position, and you said Bonham, who's not even a top hundred at his position, <laughs> and you said that's his help yeah, because of, because of, because of the drugs, because of the drugs that, that I, I, I don't care why he's not that good, but we're not we're not gonna use him like but, Kobe but, had help. But finish your point. Yeah, but he was an he was an elite player. He was an elite player. If Ooh. elite, if by elite you mean I Who played with Kobe. Bonham was not elite, bro. The only thing elite about Lamar Odom I'm was saying, the socks. I'm not saying Bonham. I'm saying, I'm saying when they traded Shaquille O'Neal to the Heat, potential, he was up there with Shaquille O'Neal. False. Y'all overrate, overrate the talent that Kobe played with, man. No, that's what you're doing. You overrate, you overrate Odom. Wait, wait, wait huh? hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait Everybody stop. No, 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 no timeout. Did you just say that Lamar Odom had Shaquille O'Neal potential? Yes, what he said. No, I said Bynum. I said Bynum. When oh, that's they traded, oh, they traded, oh, that's <laughs> When they traded, when they traded, hit me out, hit me out, hit me out, hit me we, out. We listening. <laughs> we listening. When they traded, when they traded, uh, Shaq to, uh, the Heat, the haul they got was, uh, Odom. Paul Casal. No, 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 no. When they when they traded Shaq to the Heat, they got Karan Butler and Lamar Odom and probably some draft picks. Could you repeat that? They they got they, 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 they got I think they got Karan Butler and uh, Lamar Odom. When when they got Paul Gasol, that was the that was the trade um, when they sent uh, Mark Gasol uh, and um, Kwame Brown Boy, I need and some two other players. Boy, he gone. Oof. Was was that in the same year? No, uh-uh. 
They got they got Odom first one year, and then the next year they got uh Powell the same year that uh, Garnett went to Boston. It was uh Lamar Odom, Karan Butler, and Brian Grant. Shit, Andrew Bynum has Shazam potential. I don't know about no Shaq potential, bro. Yeah, exa- exactly, he has Shazam. He, 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 you talking about you talking about the Shaq that book that that uh, lady wrote? <laughs> no, I don't what now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, Bonham was not. Hey, you overrating Bonham, man. Bonham was not like that good, bro. Oh, like geez. it was supposed to be. I'm talking about the potential. I'm talking about the potential. Yeah, but if 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 I'm we was to grade, if we was to grade, how career ended up. If we was to grade everybody on the all time list off potential, Boy. then the, the list that's would be like, crazy. That's, that's, but you can't, like, you, can't grade grade you can't grade potential. You can't grade potential. That's that how the draft works. That's how the that's how the draft works. That's yeah, how that, the draft works, but not the all time list. <laughs> but not the all time huh? list, though. The all time list doesn't work like that. So, okay. so when we base it, when so we base it off of when we base it off of play that we've seen after they was drafted and they put the jersey on uh-huh. and they got a contract, right? <laughs> the play that we saw, <laughs> they did not live up to said potential, right? So the players that the players that Kobe <laughs> played with, the players that Kobe uh-huh. played with versus the players that LeBron played with. LeBron had more help, talent, and star wise than Kobe. He most, did. He, most def- he most definitely had more help. But do you think? Do you think career? Do you think Kobe Bryant career would have end up the same if he wouldn't have played with Shaquille O'Neal? The, the same yes. as no, because he wouldn't have had Shaquille O'Neal for those three rings. But look, no, it would have it would have no, been no, no, it would have been different. Saying, it would have been different. But let me ask you this: Do you think LeBron career would have been same had he not uh, got a super team in Miami and, and he would have stayed in Cleveland? But LeBron, but LeBron came in the league putting up numbers. What, what, I get, I do, get the do, do you think his played. do you think his career would have been the same if he didn't leave Cleveland and join a super team I mean, in Miami? I believe LeBron. If LeBron would have stayed in Cleveland, I still believe he would have been an elite player. With of Kobe course, he, of course, he would have been an elite player, and so would Kobe. Kobe. Shaq didn't help Kobe become elite. No, Coke. Hey, hey, come on, you. Where is you, you, man? You hey, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To, to your it point. Takes, to your to your point, homeboy, we we got proof that Kobe was the man without Shaq. This proof that Kobe proof? can still win championships. What? There's two championships. He went to three straight. That he went without Shaq. He went. He went. He more. He more. Hey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not knocking the championship that he went to. But I'm talking about the talent that he had on the team. Y'all trying to make it seem like Kobe oh, didn't on, have nothing on. on that team. So 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 name Bob me. Every, was it? Hold on. Hold on. So name me. Name me five other people on those championship teams with Paul Gasol and Kobe Bryant. Name me five other people. Look, I'll. I'll this, uh, he played. This, he played with Trevor Reza. He played with Trevor Reza. Uh, next, Robert, uh, not Robert or Trevor Reza. How many All Stars he made? I'm not for sure. Uh, zero. Probably one. Probably one. Zero. Max? No zero. Zero. He didn't, he didn't go at all. Okay. Zero. Come on. So okay, we got Trevor Reza. Give me four more. Give me four more. Lamar Odom. Uh, Paul Gasol. No, no, I said five besides Paul Gasol and Kobe. Like you can't take the most talented players. Like, what hey, hey, you hey, mean hey, I can't hey, but, but that's what LeBron doing though. Hey. But that's what LeBron doing. Listen, all you need the, the blue the blueprint for great players has been give me a great co-star. I give I give it to you. Every great player needs a co-star. And he has to be a legit co-star, not not a co-star that, that's a a, 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 a a hey stop man, not a not a co-star that's uh that's uh a, 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 a pretender, a real co-star like Pippen. Every every star needs but, a co-star. Hold on. I get so it, so once no, once you but, get but, once you get that co-star is all about surrounding you and your co-star with role, role players. players. Yeah. The difference between yeah. Kobe and Mike. And LeBron is that Mike got his Scottie Pippen, and then he got role players, and they went out the war, and they fought until their man, career was Scottie over. Pitt, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Game, the, and the difference is it, seventeen. That's that's what that's that ain't a lot. Like <laughs> like like like, to like LeBron. <laughs> oh, but that's my point. So Gasol only averaged about eighteen a game. He didn't. He wasn't. He wasn't breaking the scoreboard. It's, it's, but he it's, wasn't. It's, hold, it's, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me make this point. So uh, Kobe had his co-star in Gasol with role players. Lamar Odom is a role player. Artest was a role yeah. player. 
Trevor Ariza yeah, was I, a role player. Derek Fisher was I a role would. player. That's all you need is a co-star and role players. LeBron is doing overkill. And the reason why I he's agree. doing overkill is because he has a flawed way of playing the game that needs more than yeah, just role got, players. Got, so he gets a co-star and then he gets another co-star. He gets a, a way and a Bosch. They're both stars. They're both, they're both superstars. And you're, yeah. you're, you're using one of them as a co-star and you're using the superstar as a role player. <laughs> That's an unfair advantage. And then he did the same thing in Cleveland, went and was like, okay, let me get Kyrie, already established player, as a superstar. I'm going to join him and then get Kevin Love as my role player. He he's getting he's Wait. getting star players and making them play role players and then go grab somebody like J.R. Smith or Ray Allen to come off the bench. He must like he's it. he's doing overkill. Yeah. You you right that whole that whole mentality come from come from the AAU mindset. No, that, that whole mentality comes from a menstrual yeah, cycle. <laughs> That's what that whole mentality comes from. That that ain't that ain't a hard leg way of doing it. That's not that's not me saying I'm doing it the hard way. That's that's me saying I need a pad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gonna clip that one. Yep. But that's how but but that's how the young guys do it. All the guys checking the team these days. All of them do because it. of yeah. who? Because of who though? All the young guys. It's, it's because of LeBron. I agree with that. The Celtics. That's not a big man. Man, them guys was over the hill when Kevin Garnett. Nah, they went over the hill. The Celtics. Jay hill, Wright. Man. Jay Wright. The Celtics started it. The, the Celtics started it. But you're right. They went. They weren't over the hill yet, bro. And I'm. 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 A, uh, I'm. A, uh, let you go off this one. They wasn't over here yet. They was toward the end. I'm so sure. I mean, it's the same thing. They formed the super team, but they only had three year. They only had a three year window. Man, I'm because I'm, it was toward the end of the prime. But I, I'm I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for the call, though, bro. Man, I'm just all glad. Right. All right, I'm just glad he didn't say Adam Morrison is one of those players. Boy, who I was about to really <laughs> play. Dog, what you doing? Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, all right. La, la, this is the last one. This is the last one. Last one. Only reason why I'm taking this one is because he from North Carolina. Nine zero nine one zero North Carolina number. Man, what's up, brother? Hey, how you guys doing? We good, man. Good. I was just listening to the conversation. And uh, I I wanted to, you know, uh, make a point of, you know, this whole debate of Kobe, you know, and LeBron. And, and, and one thing I would say, because I heard the other caller, you know, uh, talking about the talent that LeBron had as opposed to Kobe. And this is what I would say. If you if you look at the roster that Kobe had of the, the second time around with with Powell and Fisher and Ariza and those guys, and you look at the talent that was in the West at the time with Denver and Portland and all those, you know, ta super talented teams, right? Um, if, you, if you just think about that and think about what Kobe was able to accomplish with just really just one all-star, let's just be honest about it. Right. Pau Gasol was a great player, but he ain't Shaq. No, he's an all-star. He's, he's not a superstar. He's not a superstar. He's an all-star, right? Yet, going to play with Kobe, look what Powell became. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Two oh, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, right? Yep. So, so in, 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 let's, let's, look, let's think about this, too. In 2006, when Phil Jackson came back, and, and people missed this part, when Phil Jackson came back, he had a choice. He could either went to Cleveland and played with LeBron or he could have went to the Lakers and played with, and played with Kobe. Now think about the relationship that uh, Phil Jackson had with Kobe when he left. It wasn't great, right? Even, even Phil Jackson talked about it yet. He still went back to the Lakers. Why? Because even in 2006, Phil Jackson believed that he could win championship with Kobe more than he could with LeBron James in 06. Mm. So think, now think about that he thought that if people th say well Kobe's not a team player uh, Kobe's selfish uh, LeBron passes the ball Pr LeBron is all you know all around player who would Phil Jackson go with he went with Kobe because Kobe could play in a triangle offense a structured offense that could win championships so people kind of miss that like in, in 06 he went with Kobe he didn't go with LeBron yeah why did why? in 06 LeBron was dominant in 06 07 
You yeah, but you, but you, but you made a good point though. Uh, Phil, Phil knew that the play. As a matter of fact, Phil mentioned this at the statue revealing. He, right. he, he, he said right. he said that Kobe Bryant can play in that structure offense because he had the skill sets to do it. He had the same skill set that Mike had. LeBron wow. James was was the beneficiary of playing in a wide open system. My, Kobe Bryant got all his points inside of a phone booth. Kobe exactly. Uh, LeBron James had the whole. Pacific Ocean is his uh, oasis to, to, you know, and all the freedom in the world. I have the ball. Everybody right. has to orbit around me. I can do whatever I want to do. And the world is exactly. my oyster, right? And that's a that's a lot of freedom to go and get your numbers. And then you got to right. you, you gotta stack your teams to make sure that they're good enough to actually get the win. LeBron's exactly. out there to get his numbers. The rest of his players are great enough to help get the win. And, and that's what it was. Right. Kobe Bryant was in the phone booth. Man, thanks for the call, though, bro. Oh, hey, hey, one, one last, one last point. Yeah, one last point that I want to make is when he, when LeBron went to Miami, right? Because we got to go back to that, right? When he goes to Miami, this is after Kobe wins his fifth championship, and Wade calls LeBron. He calls Bosh and say, "Hey, listen, he got five. We got to catch up now." Now, when LeBron goes to Miami, Dwayne Wade already a champion, y'all. Facts. He already Facts. won a championship without LeBron. Facts. <laughs> Let's just think of it. He yeah. didn't make. He didn't make Wade. Wade made him because he already won a championship without LeBron. You can. You can. You can make that argument. And like. And like I said on the. <laughs> and thanks for the call, bro. I'm gonna get you out of here. You're thanks, welcome. man. You're welcome. But like All I right. said on the last show, is is by by LeBron going to Miami, and teaming up with a with a dude that was in his uh uh that was in his same stratosphere and that was um. That was someone that was kind of kind of like a rival. We didn't get a chance to see if 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 LeBron was actually better than D Wade because we because that that's what we were supposed to see. We were supposed when Michael Jordan was facing all Carl Malone, Barkley, you know, Drexler, all the people that was in his stratosphere at that time. He was able to take them down and show that he was better than them. LeBron didn't do that. He tinked up with most everybody. I do want to uh, get this program uh, this this shout out to uh, uh, Dreamers Pro Man. I appreciate it. I mean, just the fact, first of all, this dude, if y'all, I know everybody that's watching me probably already subscribed to Dreamers Pro, but this dude is on his way to probably half a million subscribers by the end of this year, man. Dude makes phenomenal content, man. So it, it's it's actually a, a honor that he'll even, he even over here giving us compliments and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I, pre I, I appreciate you for uh, uh, tuning in, big dog, man. I watch your stuff every day, man. You drop two or three episodes every day and I'm, I'll be on it. So appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, man. What's y'all thoughts before we go on to the next topic, though? I mean, <laughs> wait, hey, man, I, everybody I'm, pretty much said everything. I mean, it's the I'm still stuck on dude from Georgia. He off that creek water with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think for the most part, man, I think we can we can say the consensus is you know, yeah, Mike is one, but you can't go to number two and not say Kobe. It's I, very I hard. It's, it's very hard to. to to go to number two and not have Kobe at number two, like it's very hard. If, if if MJ was the prototype, and then Kobe was the 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 model they produced after, how is that not one and two? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Hey, we got one last call before we move. I don't know how. Uh, who who on the phone right now? Caller, can you hear me? All right, you hung up. Uh, Shout out to Roland, right. man. Roland, man, consistently in the in the in the chats with us, man, on these videos. Appreciate. Do you remember that. The, those unorthodox layups that MJ used to make? Heck yeah, we remember that. Uh, why do we pretend that young MJ was those uh, unconventional layups only three or four times? Kobe was great, but uh, never had MJ's creativity. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't quite like MJ's, but I wouldn't say he didn't have it. That's real tough, man. I would say that. When you get somebody like MJ who did it all, what else can you come up with? I think Kobe. <laughs> I think Kobe. What else can you come up with? Just different yeah. versions of it. You, you took everything. Remix it. No, no, you got to remix everything MJ did. That's the only way you could do it. Just remix it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Kobe's creativity came more with his his shots because if if you watch a mixtape of just some of Kobe's shots. 
it's like, how did that go in? How did he get that off? Like, how did, you know what I'm saying? Shots behind the backboard with double and triple pump fakes and half spins and up undercuts. And this is like, dude, what? How did, how did you even see Kobe's vision to get these shots off was just otherworldly. I think that's where his creativity was more when more like when Mike's creativity was the acrobatics with the layups and stuff like that. Kobe's was the shots. Yeah. For so, sure. Shout out to Zoe, man. man. He he un- yeah. Zoe. Yeah, get better, big dog, man. Uh uh Lamar came and filled in. Why 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 are we bringing up Lamar, man? IOW Sports, man. Go and subscribe to them over there. Also hit the like button. Uh, we, uh, we we got 411 people in here, man. Hit the like button. Uh, a lot of people forget to do that. Hit the like button. We're gonna move to the next topic. Phone lines are closed. We'll open it back up uh, after we discuss this one. Um, hey, hey, real quick, real quick. Hey, so quit eating uh food truck crab legs, man. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or the or the shrimp from uh, Dollar General. Hey, just <laughs> hey, and listen, <laughs> and, and the steak the steak from AutoZone is untrustworthy. Yeah. Wait, wait, the, the, shrimp now? Oh. Yeah, they got shrimp and steak now. Oh, the and and the uh, AutoZone. Hey, the daggone Lunchables ain't trustable in AutoZone. You can't, you can't, yeah. <laughs> Hey, that boy was bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Bro, hey, out of yeah. zone getting the Lunchables that uh, the prison's rejecting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boys, wow. <laughs> hey, just bring, just bring your leftovers to work, bro. You better off bringing your leftovers to work, so. Exactly, man. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, so while we're we talking about all of that stuff with uh, the statue and how great uh, Kobe was and all this stuff, man, uh, it didn't go without some type of controversy uh when it comes to Le- lebron man oh man i hate i hate doing this man but he gives us new stuff to talk about every single time man um lebron yeah. james wasn't at the ceremony when they uh, revealed the statue uh and it was at the game they had a home game that day so they revealing the statue you already there phil handy was there mm-hmm. reese was there Rui was there I mean, Phil Jackson was there. Like so many Laker greats and for, and and former players and current players was there, but the biggest name on the Lakers team wasn't there. I I I just kind of uh, it's kind of weird to even understand why they had a post game uh, conference that uh, they kind of asked him about it, and it all it seemed like he kind of dodged the question. Definitely helps. It helps to play calls when you have those two guys. LeBron, when you have so much going on, like the Kobe statue trade deadline and you have these guys to play how hard is it to get everything you have put into it and leave that behind no it wasn't hard it wasn't hard for me um personally i went to my regular game day routine and focused on the job at hand i knew the, the opponent that was coming in i knew he was coming up a 12 game a 12 day six game road trip it was going to be difficult on us but you know once you get on the floor you have to you have to lock in on the assignment that's, that's all that matters that was his answer to them bringing up the Kobe statue. No, no reverence to Kobe. No, you know, uh, you know, I could. He said, I just went by my normal routine on game day. It was a normal game day for him. He went through his normal routine. I guess he went in and got treatment, got stretched out, got massages, and just didn't think enough that, hey, let me let me stop by the homie's ceremony, say something to his wife. Maybe he did. I don't know. Leave it alone, Jay. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait, wait. What'd I say? Nothing. What'd I say? You good? You good, brother? You good? Nah, what'd I say? What'd I say? <clears throat> so you got stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Wow, bro. That's why I, t- I, t- I, t- I told you, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. He was on the road. He was on the road. I, I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> well, what, y'all listen, contrib- I, what, what y'all contribute that to, though? He, he, he should have done more stretching. He went nine for 20 that night and lost, so he should have done more <laughs> stretching. So, <laughs> Man, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like you when, you when you went to the Lakers, you knew that you would be in the shadow of Kobe. You'd be in the shadow of the Lakers greats, right? It's not like he hasn't said anything before, you know, when – Obviously, when the tragedy happened and they donned the jerseys and this cha- this championship is for Kobe when they won in uh, 2020. So it's not like, you know, you haven't paid reverence before. What's different from 
today, you know, go, are you planning on going to see uh, the other two when they revealed or did you just feel like that this game was more important? But I mean, to, to see that the, the other guys on the team, the, 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 the role players took time to go and, and pay respects to the, to the statue and you being the leader of the team, um, the so-called, you know, captain, the, the, the great one or whatever, and you couldn't pay respect to a person whose shadow I feel like you're also chasing as well as MJ. It's just, it just, it kind of, it doesn't sit, it doesn't sit well with me. Well, let I, me it's, give you. It's, uh, it's like a, a slight, a slight bit of disrespect in my opinion. I, maybe, but I don't, I don't think it's that. Um, it, I think it's more, uh, I forgot what the, uh, occasion was but it was something that he didn't show up to for somebody or whatnot and oh the comments came. oh I, I got that for you too jay hold on this is Stephen a All smith right. talking about when he missed uh right. dwayne wade's by the way i don't even think he showed up to miami when when wade got his jersey retired i don't know what the lakers were at, at that time but when wade went into the hall of fame he didn't show up and this is Stephen a smith talking about that hey here why do you think i was so upset when lebron james wasn't at dwayne wade's hall of fame induction ceremony Mm. I still can't believe that wasn't a big enough story. It's supposed to be your brother. Now, I understand. Ronnie James, just a few months ago, had the heart ailment, collapsed at USC, rushed to the hospital. Thank God he's okay. And I understand LeBron James spending time with family. But from my understanding, he traveled over the summer. And I'm not LeBron James, and I don't get to take private jets that often. But occasionally I do. And I happen to know that you had, you could have had time to fly in for the Hall of Fame induction of your brother. I promise you this, and it's a prognostication, it's a prediction, but I can't say definitively. But I'm almost willing to say, let me promise you that when LeBron James Day comes and he's inducted into the Hall of Fame, I promise you D-Wade will be there. You can bet the house. There's a lot that we don't talk about with LeBron James. Remember when the memorial service took place for Kobe Bryant? I'm quite sure he had his reasons. LeBron was devastated. Loved Kobe. We get that. I can't believe I didn't see him there. Magic was there. Jordan was there. Shaq was there. Steph Curry was there. D-Wade was there. The NBA community was in attendance. We didn't see LeBron James. Two of the most conspicuous Biggest moments, albeit for completely different and in Kobe's case, absolutely tragic reasons. We didn't see the face of LeBron James, the face of the league, one of the preeminent faces in the world of sports. And every time we turn around and we ask these questions, it's like throwing shade. It's not throwing shade. It's recognizing his greatness, his significance, his impact and wondering why. I'm simply saying I'm not asking their rhetorical questions, but why? Is this so wrong to bring these things up? Why is it so wrong if I'm sitting up there and I'm saying, yo, this quote that you said, it's not paying enough homage. I know that you raved and talked about the Miami Heat organization, but you were going to be what you were going to be no matter what without them. That's just not true. So I'm going to frame it up. He wasn't at Kobe's memorial. He wasn't at his statue reveal. He wasn't at the funeral. He didn't go to uh, D Wade's uh, jersey retirement. He didn't go to D Wade's Hall of Fame speech. Uh, he missed all of those things. However, when uh, D Wade was definitely at when he broke Kareem's record, he was definitely there. And Kobe was in attendance when he broke Kobe's record. And then his last tweet before he passed, his last tweet was congratulating LeBron mm. on passing him. W what is going on with LeBron where he? He's not at those. I mean, I, I I think he was mad at LeBron for saying so many times on. Uh, I think he just went on Shannon Sharp's uh, podcast right before that and said that that uh, uh, MJ would all be always be his go. I thought that was gonna cause some friction, but I ain't think he wasn't gonna come to his Hall of Fame speech, man. That's foul. It it Let may have, you know, a lot of times with these guys, man, who think they bigger than the world. <laughs> his mindset could have simply been that my appearance there will cause people to look at me and take away from the event. Yeah. Then why he don't do that when he go to his son's basketball game, where he out there dunking doing halftime with the kids and, and, and stealing all that shine. Mm. Cause or, he, don't care about, 
He don't care about it. it, it it's, it's a it's a built in excuse. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that's the actual reason, but it's a it's an easy road to travel if you're looking for an excuse. It's a weak one, though. If, if MJ can show up to events, MJ, MJ is bigger than Braun. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> if MJ Facts. can show up, Facts. He, he bigger than Braun. So yeah, yeah. that's a weak excuse. I, yeah, I, 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 I honestly think it's just a, uh, I think it's just a, a undiagnosed case of narcissism, if you ask me. Um, and, and if it ain't about Braun, you know, <laughs> uh, why would I show up? You know, it ain't about me, baby. You know, I ain't I ain't got a chance to, you know, had to, you know, light shine on me. I'm broad. I'm king. You know, that man. It's kind of hard to dispute that, right? That man. Like, do we, do we have any other evidence to dispute any of that? This this has happened time and time again. And there's no real excuse to it, except for the fact that Bronny was going through a, a medical emergency where he was recovering. So, so, you know, you know, I think it just had happened like a couple of days before. So I we we kind of got that part. And we explained that away, but dude, this keeps happening, man. And dude, there was no excuse. You was in LA and you had a game at the arena. You can't show up just an hour early to be there. I don't know. I mean, this is if, weird. If he and said he was doing his regular like the game and then play like ass in the game. If he Come said on, he was man. doing his regular routine, that means by the time they was doing the statue ceremony, that he was already at crypto. Cause he gets to the, he gets there early. He likes to read a book, you know, listen to music. He hits weights before he go for the, before the game. His whole pregame routine, he's there hours. And he puts shots up. So the I think the, the statue came out by like, what, 4, 5 o'clock? The game was at, what, 7 or 8? He was already there. This is what I hope. I, I hope LeBron, because he, he was on the injury report for that game. I hope he came in seeing the Bryant family early, his mom, his dad, his wife, his kids said something to them, hugged them, said, look, I'm trying to be, I'm a game time decision. I need to get on this uh, massage uh, uh, table and I got to get some kinks worked out. Uh, I'm going to miss it, uh, but I'm here and I love you. You know, I hope, I hope he did that, but it's, it's looking like a pattern though. Hey man. Huh? Well, what's, what's crazy, what's crazy is he was there for Melo's last game. Was he? It was in yep. LA. That was on the same team. No. Um, nah, his, his last no, 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 game no, no. was L, was LA for sure. No, it wasn't. He was in. Then he, I think he went to Portland after LA. No, he was with Portland before yeah. LA. Yeah, Portland was before LA. Yeah. Yeah, you remember he was a Laker dog. Yeah. Who's Phone lines are open. Who's Phone lines are open. Y'all can call in. Phone lines are open. Was it D Wade's last game? I think it was D Wade's last game. Cause the whole banana boat crew was there. It might have been D Wade's last game, but that okay. was before. Yeah. That was before okay. D Wade. Uh, D Wade went and reiterated that uh, that MJ was the goat. Uh, Call, caller from Indiana, cut YouTube off in the background. Tell us your name and uh, give us your comment. Yeah, my name is Antoine. I was listening to your program, man. That was a great show. Thanks, bro. I want to make that sure clear. But um, it's a pertains to the Brian fans, man. It's like this, man. Not only is he the uber narcissist, but he is so he's mentally, as far as a, a basketball standpoint, his his ego is so fragile. It's just like Kobe Bryant is someone who passed away tragically with a, a number of other individuals, and yet he can't take the time being a Laker to attend this um this ceremony. And to Mel, you know, I know that. You're a purist for the game. You won't want to touch the game. And I know how you view it. That's why so many of us, you know, watch this show because y'all panel is great. So let that be known. But LeBron is a foul dude. Yeah. So this is not about him. Nothing else matters. And if you look at his career and how he does things, it's always a caveat. It's always a situation to talk about his accomplishments. Not on a, on a, on hard court track, you know. Whether it's MJ, Elijah, one, Kobe, whoever it is, we always will talk about situational basketball, statistical basketball, whatever it is. But when it comes to him, man, he is so weak and pathetic, man. But all that athletic ability that he has, what did he equate to? Because talk about LeBron after he left Cleveland. 
what has the accomplished without him? And any other great you talk about, think about Magic Johnson, his rookie year. Kareem got injured. He played center. They won a championship. You can go uh, every other great. There's always a situation where they see you at the moment. What has LeBron done post leaving Cleveland going to Miami? Jay. And I'll leave it there. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the call. Jay, you, you want to answer that one? What what has what what has he done from when I, I think he asked what he's done after he left Cleveland? I mean, he won four championships. One of them was uh, a bubble ring. He, he, after he after he left Cleveland, he has oh won, oh uh, he's he my time, time. okay. Go ahead. No, I yeah, think after oh, he left I, Cleveland. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, after he left Cleveland the second time, he's won uh, one uh, two championships. Uh, yeah, Jay, stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> this, this 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 man just just came on here and told us the the panel was great, and you and you about to set us back ten years by by counting the bubble and the end season tournament. <laughs> hey, hey, for those of y'all that don't know, man, I I, I always count the end season tournament as a championship, man. It, it's all in good fun. <laughs> I really don't believe it's an actual championship. <laughs> oh man! Hey, revisionist history will say it is a championship. After after he retired and he don't get that's another. What I'm saying. Watch, watch. That's yeah. why it's funny because it, <laughs> he's going to be the first. No, no. This how much they don't even matter. It's got a new name coming next year anyway. What's, 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 what's going to be the new name? The Emirates NBA Cup. Emirates. Yeah. What's yeah. Emirates? It's, global sponsor. It's a global yeah. sponsor. Baby. So oh, it's uh, wow. So it's um. Oh, they stole it. It's, it's the uh mighty key Chick Fil A bowl of basketball. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I just realized something, Jay. I just realized something. Yeah. You remember two? Uh -huh. You remember two episodes ago? No, not two episodes ago. Two weeks ago in the group chat, was well, somebody on this panel at the top left? I'm not gonna say his name. Tried to clown me for wearing glasses that didn't have a prescription. Okay, but and, all right, hold, 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 on. Got them all? hold on, hold on. These are prescription. That was not prescription. On my mama. So so was this Carmax, but <laughs> wait, hold up, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, we got a call on the line. Call from Indiana. What's up, bro? Oh no, call the caller from Texas. What's up, man? What's your name? Hey, it's uh Lon. What's up, man? What's up, big dog? What's your thoughts? Uh, what, what was the question? I just kind of came in here. Oh man, I mean, we 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 talking about uh, LeBron James and him not showing up for Kobe Bryant's uh, statue ceremony or his statue reveal. Oh okay, you know, I just want to make a comment about uh, Kobe being the goat. Okay, we'll on... we'll take that. What's up? Make it quick. Okay, well, well, the thing is, I, mean, I looked at a lot of Kobe. Uh, uh, well, I looked at uh, Magic growing up, Jordan, and then and then Kobe. You know, so I got a chance to see all of them. I got a chance to see a lot of those uh, Jordan games, those highlights against the Nets or whatnot. And uh, are you still there? Yeah, we we listen. Okay, but uh, the thing is, I I, I saw I saw uh, Kobe seemed like he surpassed Jordan uh, with his efficiency and scoring things like that. Uh, I remember I remember being scared for Jordan <laughs> and Rodman and Pippen when they had to go up against Shaq in uh, in uh, in uh, L.A. with Kobe. I was like, man, the, the way L.A. is playing right now, they they look like they're going to destroy uh, Jordan and uh, and Pippen, uh, and uh, that's what happened. You know, the, uh, this bull showed up. They were kicking butt, but they showed up in L.A. And uh, Kat, uh, Kobe and Shaq just kind of, they just blow both those guys out, man. Any, anybody got a rebuttal? Uh, it's opinion wow. based. Kobe better than MJ? I, I mean, that's, I mean. It, it's uh, a better argument than it, LeBron, but. It's, it's, it's one of those things, man. It's almost like saying, uh, if you're religious, saying uh, Jesus is better than God. Eh. Yeah, you don't get no way. I, mean, I, 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 I had I had I had Jordan on the wall, you know. I mean, I w I woke up when I was to play ball. I'm looking at Jordan right before I go outside as a kid. But uh, it, it just looked like Kobe surpassed him. But what I was gonna say is, uh, Kobe has a video, a couple of videos where he did an interview. He said, hey, that hey, hey, "Hold on, one. call it. Hold on, call it. We just I already know what you. I already know what you about to say, Jay. Go ahead. We, I we promise you, I know what you about to say. We just found a shack that uh, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. 
<laughs> I can't with y'all, bro. Jay, I knew it. As soon as I seen your face, I said, I knew it. I knew you was about to say that. That's, that's the shack that he was talking shack. about yeah. that Bynum was, was on the level with. It was that's Shaquille Williams. Williams. That's yeah. the he, he, had, he had Shaquille potential. There it is. Uh, yeah, my bad, Carla, man. My, my bad for interrupting. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All right, bro, man. Thank you for the call, man. Okay, hey, hey, yeah. hey, man, I got to say this real quick. As a, as a lifelong Lakers fan, here's the deal. And real Lakers fans, I ho- they don't got to agree with me, but damn it, I don't care. LeBron ain't never going to be accepted in Lakers community. He never will. Mm. Uh, he's, he's, he's not, well, not only because he's, he's, he's not a, a Lakers original like that, but, I mean, it's just – you can't you can't show up to the to the ceremony just like real quick. Nothing, Lamar. That's that's hard for you, for you to say, Pauls. Uh, knowing that LeBron brought y'all the, the toughest championship, man, man, the, the tough the toughest. That what they say. The toughest yeah. championship. Is it possible? Is it possible that LeBron is feeling unwanted by the Laker fan base because he, of Kobe? He never was accepted, Mel. Well, I mean, if that was the case, would you show up to the ceremony? If 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 you feel like his fans are the ones who don't want you there, yeah, but he. But not only that, this, this I, I, was, it was a private ceremony. Who says that he got invited? Yeah, but mm. that's, a good, that's a good question, Jay. Mm. Mm. That's a good point. That might be the. Mm. That's a good question, but I don't give a damn. Hey, yeah, show up. You LeBron, ain't, ain't you? Don't your name supposed to be? Uh, he, he probably wasn't invited though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. What I'm saying, don't, don't his name supposedly come with cops? He, he might have, he might have, hey, he ain't he ain't us. He, he might have he slid in that same box back in the day. Hey, it's, it's I don't care. Here's the thing: I don't care what he does. He'll never outshine Kobe in a nah, purple yeah. and gold uniform. He'll never outshine Magic in a purple and gold uniform. Kareem never in a purple and gold uniform. There are too many Hall of Famers that have donned this jersey. And he'll never surpass. In he, and he, and now, now he had a he had a better chance part. if he would have showed up to the Lakers instead of Miami. If he would have came to the Lakers back then, no, he should have came to L.A. and been a Clipper because it was not going to happen. <laughs> in purple and gold, it was not going to happen. The sad part gold. is uh, when he retires, he'll get a uh, a statue out there in that ring of uh, honor that the Lakers do too. He'll get a jersey retired. I don't know about no statue, he, bro. He might. He might not even get a statue in Miami, bro. His best bet is his best bet is a statue in Jersey and Cleveland. That's pretty much about it. He he gonna get his jersey gonna, retired gonna, in Cleveland, Miami, and he gonna get a LA. statue in Cleveland. But he ain't get uh, he ain't getting no daggone statue in Miami or yeah, LA. LA. No, he ain't getting no statue, bro. Watch. No, come on, Jay. He gonna be the uh, listen, listen, listen. They gonna they gonna put uh those statues right there. And then uh, they probably shoot. They probably put a statue in uh, in Dallas for him too. The way he <laughs> the way he gave them that championship. <laughs> All right, we got a call on line. Caller from Georgia, man. What's up, bro? What's going on, bro? What's I don't good? know if you remember me from the other day when I told you that LeBron would. He would trade his son at the deadline. <laughs> he was playing good. <laughs> but that, and, you hey, did you did you did you see the comments on that video? Did you see all the comments talking about that? I ain't get to see it. I ain't get to see. It. I was on the way to work when I had calls, so I had I go 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 back and watch that video and and read some of the comments, man. It's a lot of people that was like, man, that was crying laughing at that part, man. <laughs> but go ahead, what's up though? But yeah, but just like me and you saying that, like, he just a selfish dude, bro. It ain't even no other way around it to say it. Ain't it's no way. Cause remember me and you were talking about Dwayne Wade. Him yeah. and Dwayne Wade supposed to be like brothers. Yeah, there's no way you don't show up to my my Hall of Fame stuff. Man, he done, he he didn't he didn't show up to his stuff. He done traded him. He done left Miami without telling him. Like I'm like, man, dude, man, like his only goal was I want to be the goat, and he used whoever the hell he needed to use to get the way he needed to go. Listen, that's, this that's is a crazy the, way here, to be. Here's the problem, man. A, a lot of y'all. Are, are not used to me first attitude. So he has a me first attitude. Well, even less of y'all are uh, used to this attitude, me first and me two second. Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Brian at right there. Yeah. And I, and I had one thing that I, I was trying to get on earlier when you were talking about it. I'm just, I'd say it quick. 
the because like I used to tell folks all the time, I was a I was an Allen Iverson fan around the time him and Kobe were going at it when they when even when Shaq was on the team. Yeah. But Kobe made me respect him. I didn't because I wanted to go against him so bad because of Allen Iverson, but he made me respect him and put him at second. Yeah. Same so thing, Jordan. same same he thing with me. I was going against him. I was I was rooting for Scottie Pippen, Rashid. Steve Smith, Detlef Shrimp, Damon Stoudemire, that Portland squad, I was rooting for them. I hated Kobe right. with a passion. I hated Kobe. But and just the same way, he made he made me respect them. So, and, and, one, um, and this is what I was going to say to that. Everybody, they whole thing, and when Tracy McGrady said it, because on his thing, he said that everybody knocking him because of Shaq. But the thing is, and I made a video, because I got, I got a little small YouTube thing about this, but what I said was, hi, if y'all want to knock Kobe, and if you're going to do it, you're going to have to make it fair. If you're not Kobe for having Shaq, you got to knock Kareem and Magic for having each other. Facts. That's the only way you can make it fair. Facts. Now, if you do that, you knock them out of the top 10, then who you got in your top 10? But everybody got, most of the time, they got Magic and Kareem in their top five. Facts. And they had each other. Facts. Like that that makes no sense to knock Kobe out. And then like you say, Kobe is a better shooter than both of them. Like I go by the actual game and then we go accolades. Yeah. Kobe game was better than theirs. Yeah. It's just what it was. I agree. We we ain't nothing else you can say about that. But they try to put all this extra efficiency and all that stuff right there. That shit don't matter. We were never looking at that like that. Never. Never. And Before we de- and we definitely weren't looking at all time stats right. either. Exactly. Before LeBron came, nobody was looking at basketball like that. And all of a sudden, now we're looking at basketball with trying to chip at every little thing. That was never it. Yeah. But I want to always say that. But I appreciate y'all letting me on, man. Y'all be good. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah, appreciate it, fam. Damn, look at what Roller said. <laughs> Jordan Stop. reportedly lived in Jupiter, Florida in 2020, which is a six to nine hour flight to downtown L.A. And MJ made it to Kobe's memorial. Brentwood is only 13 to 17 minutes away, and LeBron James missed Kobe's memorial. Lord have mercy. That's crazy. Uh Shaquille O'Neal, I mean Shaquille Williams uh came in here. <laughs> he came in here capping talking about uh he actually did tell Wade uh that he was leaving. That's a lie. And well, if if that's a lie, you gotta go to Wade. Uh, uh, that's the person who told it because he went on Shannon Sharp's podcast and said I was pissed when he left because he didn't tell me. All right, we're gonna take the last phone call and then we're gonna move uh, to this trade deadline. Hey, uh, caller from New Jersey, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up, what's up, what, what's, what's up man? You, you you got a comment on the uh, topic? Yeah, I was just talking about the whole Kobe thing. Like, listen, man, Kobe, like, like, cause, like, they they try to set narratives. It's like I know what I've saw, like. I never saw like no, like nobody do counters like he mastered the game like all that efficiency stuff. That's not like well Kobe did he, he mastered Jordan's second three P game like like the first three P Jordan. I don't think nobody can ever replicate that ninety one through ninety three. That was just ignorant. But but as far as like like Kobe extended the game like he was the first flamethrower like pulling up from like half court like like you know like he's like literally like the godfather of today's game like. Um, I think I don't know what he did to like piss somebody off with her. I think there is a narrative to like you know like kind of like push him off the ranks of LeBron. Um, like like I said, he's something else. Um, I got another hot take, but I'll, I'll see that for another day or so. As far as like, nah, let's hear. It. Do it. Nah, let's hear. It. Let's hear. It. But well, as far as like Kobe's passing, man, like he just he just so cold to it. It's almost like he had something to do with it or something like that. I don't know, but like I said, uh. I, I was. There, but I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, I know it's not yeah. crazy, whatever, but it's just, but it's just the way how he acts. You would think, like you know, it's like I don't know, but um, you know, LeBron's a good guy. Like I said, maybe a top top seven talent all the time, but you know, but there's just a narrative to push there. You know, I think because of that that allegation with uh from Denver also is what kind of affected me because I think he was the one that was supposed to bury the torch. Become talking about like you know. Uh, I think after that, you know, after the, the tarnished image or whatever, I think that's what happened, you know, where they kind of like, you know, they just kind of discredited him, you know, you know, but like I said, I, I know what I saw. We all know what we've seen, like players from all over. Um, There was, I remember they were raving him, calling like, is he better than Jordan? Is he there? Like, I, mean, I think he's right there. I think he actually advanced Jordan's game. Um, It's a different era. I think Kobe, uh, I think, like I said, either they're even or Kobe's better. Like, I, I can't see him being better than Kobe. Maybe it might be a blast take, but... That's all that that. I like that, man. That's a good call, man. It's a lot of good points. You made a lot of good points in there for sure. Appreciate the yeah, game. I mean, I, call, look, I, I'm reading a comment and say appreciate the game. Appreciate the call, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, 
Hey, y'all got 426 yeah. people in here, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Yeah, hit that doorbell when y'all come in, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Hey, I don't think it's nothing else to uh, say on that, man. Y'all want to get to these uh, NBA trade deadlines, who the winners and the losers and all that good stuff? Well, the losers, the Lakers. We know that for damn sure. <laughs> all right, man. So uh, we, we didn't get to do our full show on Friday, which we was go up, uh, you know, talk about the trade deadline and all that stuff, man, and uh, talk about the moves that was made. But what, what should we start with? The trade that was made with Siakam first, or, or just skip that? We already talked about Siakam trading. I mean, no, no, to... those are fine. We could do like these, like, these like in the last what seventy two hours of the trade deadline. Okay, all right. Well, let's go. Uh, well, uh, first of all, first of all, do y'all have a winner and a loser? Because I think I think what the Mavs did was really good, and I think what the Knicks did was really good. I would I like say what... the Knicks. I say the Knicks would be my winners. Winners. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was a whole bag of mid. Everybody, there was no there was no blockbuster trades. It was a lot of role players being sought around, but it was a lot of players that probably fit the 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 scheme and the movement going forward for these contenders, right? So a lot of a lot of like the Knicks, the Mavs, they got a lot of people that uh can kind of help with the the depth of the roster, making this final push in the second half of the season and to make a playoff run. Also, honorable mention, uh, Philadelphia getting Buddy Hill from Indiana. I actually like that I though. Like yeah, that was that was a, that was a good solid trade. Somebody because uh, they they do need a they did need some some three point shooting, and also you get a, a score that can kind of make up for Embiid's missing average. Well, um, a hey, hey, Lacour, this is the reason why I like that trade, and I said it on a couple other joints. I said. I like that trade is because Buddy Hill can create his own shot. And when you got MB, who's probably going to be out for a month or some change, uh, Tobias Harris kind of being in and out of the lineup. And you don't want to sit there and pretty much put all the weight on Tyrese Maxey to get all your offense from right now. Like Buddy Hill can help you out right there. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get a full 76ers roster, I think you, you bring Buddy Hill off the bench. Hey, that's not a bad piece coming off the bench, man. I actually like that piece that they that that they did uh, for Philly getting. And right now, it don't look like much because obviously, you know, they just trying to stop the bleeding over there in Philly, man. They they got a lot of people getting nicked up and hurt, so you just gotta find a way to get some kind of offense over there. So it's not a bad move for them. It's really not. I know it don't move the needle. It ain't gonna shoot them to the top of the East, but. It's it's a it's a death move that that can kind of stop the bleeding. I actually thought, I thought bit, that yeah. trade that was actually kind of nice. It was that, it was a, it was a solid move for sure. That that Gafford and uh, PJ Washington to uh, Dallas, Dallas huge, yeah. huge. Ga Gafford might be a better option at center than Lively is, and they've been raving about Lively the whole season. Lively mm -hmm. been playing really good, but Gafford actually L Lively right now is a live threat. Uh, and he does he does everything at the rim. I've yet to see him get the ball on the block, and it might be because Dallas just don't design anything for him to do like nothing like that. But I've yet to see Lively get something on the block and make something happen. It's all a high screen and roll action with him and Luca and catching lobs at the rim. But Gafford actually, if you give it to him in the block, he's he, he's a little I think he's a little longer than uh, uh Lively, just as athletic, and he can actually do something uh with his back to the basket. I'm not. I'm not messing with y'all. He can do something with his back to the basket, I, 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 and and he's the same lob threat. Lively has uh, motor issues. Um, as a Duke fan, you know I watched him his one and done year, uh, but he gets he gets tired kind of quickly, and which which they're still trying to work on. So um, I think they feel like they can get more out of Lively if they can limit his minutes. You know what I'm saying? So with which which makes that trade even better. Um, I like that, but that wasn't the move that I liked the most. It, I, I think, I think what, uh, Glenn Patrick Beverly. So Patrick yeah, Beverly. I Glenn, yeah. I think Glenn. That was going to so be my next one. Yeah. Was, 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 a was, it, it'll help a little bit. Well, yeah. And fun. it, so not, so the Patrick Beverly move gets some defense, right. But you still don't necessarily replace Drew holiday. Because Drew Holiday could still score as well as play defense. 
Patrick Beverly is not really your score like that, but I'm guessing your scoring that you you want to make up for that you're that you're not going to get in Pat Beverly is why you got Damian Lillard, right? So you get your scoring from Damian Lillard, you get your defense from Patrick Beverly. Giannis is Giannis, right? So the move is kind of okay. I can see, but I, I, what else? Patrick Beverly is not the answer for them to fix. What are they one in six since Doc Rivers took over? Like, yeah, I think I think that was a small it, part of it. I think it was a culture issue that uh, Doc Rivers wanted to uh, address with bringing Pat Beverly in there, and he did it within the first five minutes of, of being on the bench. He's over there talking to people on the huddle and coaching him up and all that stuff, and and being aggressive and. You know, been a jolt of energy. So uh, I think Doc knew that because Doc done coach uh, Pat Beverly what with the Clippers and the Sixers. I, I, I think, right? Yeah. Did he coach him? I, I think he coached him twice. So he he you know he, uh, he well, knew what Pat brings. I think Ty Lue had Pat Beverly in L.A. I think he just they both had him they, at- I think they both did. They both did. Did, did. did he catch Doc at the end? I think he did. Yeah. Okay. He for sure had him in Philly though. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that comment right there for you. <laughs> yeah, white coat coming uh, our 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 way, not from the Dallas team. See a white coat, a doctor? No, a white coming. coat, a white, a white. Oh, coat. I thought they said coat. Lord have mercy. Do you I need my, I, maybe you I need need my glasses? glasses? You need glasses. my glasses, bro? Ain't no prescription in them glasses. He's I, all I, prescription. I white, He's all a prescription. White coat, a, a white goat. Look, and look, and I I still tried to read it again and said coat again. I see a white goat. <laughs> Greatest of all time. See, this is my thing, man. It's so many people who had different ways to weigh in on what the greatest of all time mean. And I, I, I just don't think who got the best paper stats or I ain't even gonna say resume because at this point, there's nothing on Luca's resume that even have you thinking that 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 he has that type of potential. You're only thinking about how many stacks is this man gonna get. Um, and if you think he go break any of LeBron's stats that LeBron had to play 21 years uh, to get and uh, create super teams to get. Uh, if you think you go get 21 years out of that body. It's breaking down now. And that man 24. Yeah. And that, I mean, it, his body is more built like a goat than, than his career is. <laughs> and, and if you think you go get 21 years out of that. Damn. It's more built like a goat than a career is. It's wild. Hey, he ain't hey, lying. Hey, 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 what's the cuisine down there in Dallas, Texas? I know it's a whole bunch of brisket. Gotta be. That's it's a whole eating. bunch of it. That's all eating is brisket. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, man. So let's 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 deep let's start with let's do New York. Let's deep dive with New York, right? So they already top three in the East. Mm-hmm. Right. They lost OG Ananobi. They just got him, and then they, you know, he played phenomenal for a couple of games, and they lost him for about two more weeks, right? Yeah, but he's coming back. Right? They just they just added to them. Uh, 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 I, I I'm not. I'm about to butcher his name. But is it Bogdanovic from Detroit? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm Bogdanovic. And what was the other uh the guy? They got two guys. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Alec Burks, Boyan Bogdanovic. Burks. Yep. Yeah. And then did they make another trade? Man, I like Bogdanovich oh, yeah. a whole lot. Shooter, shooting Shooter. ability. He can he can d it up a little bit. He can rebound a little bit. He's a he's a uh, he's a he's a bigger but He's not a small guy. Uh, you know, he adds something to that team. He and he's tough too. New York got something, and they already got Jalen Brunson. They got something, bro. Yeah they they made they made a lot of the the right moves. Um, definitely, like I said, definitely top my list for the winners as far as the trade deadline goes. Um, again, it was it wasn't one of those blockbuster trade deadlines where it's like you know, oh my god, forget blockbuster. Who, here, forget blockbuster. Who helped that team for the playoffs? Okay. What do you put, what do you what do you put New York at now? The White James. Uh, hey, shout out, hey, shout out to the comment section, man. Y'all are y'all are really entertaining tonight. Oh, he said, "Is is Luca a Minotaur?" <laughs> I be trying to focus, man, but I be seeing them pop up, man. I be, I be yeah, trying to like, and the comment says you won't let us be great. No. I be trying to, I be trying to stay in here with it, man. Uh, <laughs> I had, I had the Knicks probably, you know, finishing the season right where they're at right now, probably like third in the East. But uh, after these trades, I mean, obviously everything, you know, you got to get everybody to mesh together and everybody get on the program quickly. 
But if in a perfect world, if everything goes great, man, they could definitely be looking at an Eastern Conference Finals trip at least. I, I, I got them finishing second. I don't think Milwaukee uh, is going to stay in front of them. I, I got New York finishing right behind Boston at number two. I'm not mad which, at that. Which which is good because it's going to make that that's going to make that seat and uh, make it easier for them to get to the Conference Finals. They, oh, they, they, oh, Boston they, and New York Conference Finals. Yeah, they won't get. They won't have to see Boston into the Conference Finals. They they. Hey. Can, they can mop uh, Miami quickly. What y'all think? Um, yeah, two, yeah, top. They I number two, top Jay. Four. I yeah, would say top two. four. I, I would say top four just because if something can go wrong in New York, injuries and all that, it probably yeah. will. Um, Not but, hey, I, I, they, they play. They playing really good uh, ball. Uh, yo, <laughs> just, just imagine, man, Brunson. Baby, could have been, been, doing, all of that. <laughs> could have been <laughs> doing all of that in Dallas, bro. bro that's crazy. <laughs> you see, been... wow, bro. I man said they boy got them baby mama here. <laughs> <laughs> man, they hey, they are wilding. <laughs> yeah, you ain't yeah, yeah, like yeah. that Gordon, uh, that Gordon Haywood trade, Melvin. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Hell no. no. Gordon, I, I, I think, I think that's foreskin. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if they needed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they needed it. Wait, 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 wait. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they needed it at all. As, 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 I've ne I've never seen. I mean, as a matter of fact, if it's foreskin, that means Charlotte just got circumcised, and I've never seen someone get circumcised and somebody else take the foreskin and put it on their feet, face like Silence of the Lamb. I've never seen it. My goodness, that was. Hey man, yeah, let's move on because I don't know where that wow. hell went, dude. That now one, one trade, <laughs> one trade that I would, one trade that I would say I'm a little baffled about. What? Um, hell? um nigga, what? <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn traded away Spencer Dinwiddie. No, they well, released, huh? him, they released him, bro. <laughs> They well, traded no, and, and, and then somebody else released him. Yeah, yeah, I, think, yeah, I think he got a buyout. So, and he just, yeah, so he he's out with LA, and, and he's out with the Lakers now. Spencer which, Dinwiddie which, is with the Lakers. Yeah, yeah that, which is a good move for the Lakers, actually. It is, not really. But, um, I mean, because not because they, because they already issue, they already had an issue with uh, Reeves and and Russell and and what they was gonna do with that. Now they got now they just added the issue with with Dinwiddie. I mean, what what does that go do? I, I, you guess, it's, I, guess, it's, I guess it's depth. I, I mean, or you or you play uh, Spencer at the two. Nah, Spencer better be a shooter for the five minutes he gonna get. I mean, I don't know. I wanted Phoenix. I wanted Phoenix to get done with him, honestly. For what? I rather so, had Grayson Allen as your I starting want, point I, guard. I want. I, I wanted Phoenix. Then is not a point guard. He's playing. He played more point guard. Like he was. He was transitioning to the point guard position in Brooklyn. That boy shoot more than Kobe. <laughs> Listen, I I wanted I wanted Phoenix to either get Dennis Smith Jr. a real point guard that that is probably the best. He's a better defender than Lou Dirk. That's uh, Lou Dort. He that's how good Dennis Smith Jr. is defensively, right? And he's not looking to try to get all those uh, uh, points. And he's a guy that's trying to get downhill and get to the rim, right? So. Uh, comment right, right, right now you got Bo you got Booker and Bill and KD all jump shooters. I would like to be able to offset that with somebody that's trying to get to the rim. Eric Gordon shooting threes, Grayson Allen shooting threes, KD shooting threes and jump shots. Bill and Booker all shooters. If they get Dennis Smith Jr., that's somebody that's trying to get to the rim to put pressure on that rim. Or they could have they wouldn't uh, uh, they could have wouldn't got uh, Dennis Schroeder. So Schroeder or Dennis Smith Jr. is who Phoenix needed, not Dinwiddie, not another jump shooter. They they did get Royce O'Neal though. I mean, I don't know how much. Yeah, you know. still still at a point. He's still a guy that's, that's that's trying to shoot threes, but he's a defender. Yeah, he's a good defender, right? He's a smart player. They just lost to Golden State by a point, which is crazy. This this comment is this this super chat is crazy though. <laughs> LeBron is the NBA's all time leader in rushing yards. I can see that. <laughs> oh, I can, LeBron, I can hey, see uh, that. Hey, uh, Giannis about to break that record though. <laughs> oh, for sure. And, and 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 if Westbrook had stayed on the pace that he was at, he wasn't too far behind. Yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, well, they fried I mean, Luca. That's pretty much. It wasn't. It wasn't a really overwhelming trade deadlines. Some teams that were already good got better, and 
some teams that were bad are just stocking up for the draft and for the future. So, man, well, they frying Luca, man. Ostrich. <laughs> What? Hey, they. Uh, hey, what? The hey, what Luca do to y'all, man? What? Hey, what Luca hey, do to y'all? The conversation is saying is they want us to come back on Saturdays, man. They. they, they yeah, they, that's they, the yeah. They, 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 hold on, do y'all like do y'all like Saturday better than Friday? Is Saturday the day we, we shooting for now? I, like I don't Saturday. know. We do. We do have a. We did have a guy that said, "Don't ever leave him hanging on Friday again." So. Yeah, we got we got million. loyal people. We got loyal people that watch us on Friday oh, too. No, I like Saturdays better because if, if y'all need a sub, I'm better on Saturdays, dog. See, there sub. you go, there you go. And we always need a sub because one of these hoes always uh, uh, <laughs> dissing me. Elmire, <laughs> <laughs> my... how many times you take these niggas shopping, boy? They they <laughs> uh, they go call in sick, boy. <laughs> I just, I bitch. just took, hey, I just took his old shopping yesterday, man. He, he gonna call in sick. <laughs> hey, look, I, listen, I'm here. I be here. I be here. I got a good attendance record hey, so far. Hey, shit, bro. You, <laughs> you shit. I hope so see that, man. I really, I really hope so see that. Hey, 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 shopping, man. Hey, hey, something wrong with that guy. Oh. <laughs> First team all bulldozing. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, look, so we got 15 minutes left before the show's over, man. I, I'm going to open the phone line. Look, one more time. Y'all can cut. It's, it's free for all. Y'all can call in and talk about whatever y'all want to. I'm going to give y'all one minute. Uh, phone lines is open, man. Uh, and then we go in. Then we go in the show. We're going to talk about what? how you going to have a Super Bowl celebration show next week. That's what we need to talk about. That might be the show I call in on. What, what are y'all going to do if y'all don't win, though? We, I mean, I still show up. What hey, I'm gonna do? Where is uh, DC Slim? What happened to DC Slim? Did y'all scare him away in the comment section? Nah, he, he, it's nah, Saturday, he, man. Yeah, he must be. Oh, uh, yeah. He must. He, he must be out there bojangling. Yeah, he had that bojangling. <laughs> yeah. Probably out there drunk in the Cootie Brown. It, it's Saturday night in Chocolate City. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DC out know. there doing DC things, DC, man. Yeah, DC hey, hey, he, he, either that or wasting his money watching damn. Uh, uh, your boy uh, Jordan Poole. Hey, look, that, look, that's what he's trying to be on. That's exactly <laughs> what he's trying to be on right there. Whatever, he, man. Hey, <laughs> caller from South Carolina. What's up, Big Doc? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm just calling back up here, man, to let y'all know. I can't wait to see these Kansas City Chiefs face um, after tomorrow, man. I can't wait to see y'all boys again. Hey, we we call we call them Kansas City Cheeks over here, man. <laughs> uh, that's not what we call them, uh, number one. Number two. What you want to see? Uh, smiles and 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 and, and admiration for another. Nah, Lamar. we uh, nah. What look? What uh, what what we gonna see is excuses. I want to see. I want to. I want to hear the excuses of why y'all lost. Y'all either gonna blame Taylor Swift or y'all gonna blame Andy Reid play calling. I'm Which one gonna, gonna be? If we lose, if we lose, I'm gonna do what all y'all do. Uh, I'm gonna blame LeBron not making enough trades for us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, man. Thanks for the call, bro. All right, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Caller from Texas, bro. what's up? They want us to lose so bad. Yeah, hey, I had some else I wanted to say on that. Uh, Kobe, uh, with the you know the ranking or whatever. Okay. But, uh, Kobe uh, had an interview uh, where he said Wilt was number one, he was number two, and Mike Mike was number three. Michael Jordan. You know, and then, and then, you know what he said. He said, re, "He said I want you to repeat it again, repeat it back, so you get it right." Will, me, then Mike. Mm. What do you think about that? I don't, uh, find, you, first of all, find an interview because I I've never seen that one. You never seen that one? No. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it in, in your comments. Okay. All right, bet. All right. Give me right, opinion. I, I can't put people I ain't never seen in in, in my top. Like hey, I ain't, hey, I'm hey, an older than you. Shay J in there cooking in the comments, man. <laughs> hey, she hey, she be, she been riding with us, man, for sure. She been riding with us for 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 like a month now, man. You know, she she be in all the videos, man. That's dope. I I've, I've never that, I've never heard Kobe say anything like that, but I damn sure remember LeBron saying some shit like that. I think I think uh, the caller from Texas might have uh, got confused by an AI interview or something. I don't know. It could have happened. 
Some people in the comment section said they seen it. You know, um, um, it, it exists. So somebody said he he was joking. Yeah, was in the interview. It was a rec game with Harden. I I I just can't rank people. I, I, I ain't. Oh, I'm 36. I ain't seen no damn Bill Russell, no damn Wilt Chamberlain, no. Come on, man. I I can't. Hey, until until we see uh, the full game with that 100 point Wilt game. I don't think 80, that shit don't exist. That shit 80, don't 81 exist. is the highest we ever we ever seen. Yeah. So I mean, um, I, I, I'm, I, not, I I'm not taking no. I'm not taking no piece of paper with 100 written on it at yeah. face value. And, and the court just hit his 30, so we know damn sure you ain't seen what if I ain't seen what. So, <laughs> you know, you just got the Similac off your breath. So, this he is showed up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. Y'all so, the you, you, Detroit Lions, too. They you're just talking, down. You're talking about that man just hit 30. He ain't in his 30s. He ain't even 30 yet. Oh, damn. No, nah, he ain't you even in his 30s. I wasn't going to say nothing, man, because I, I appreciate the mature the maturity of the comment. You know, but no, I nah, turned twenty nine. I turned twenty nine. Nah, it's just them. It's just some glasses making you look grandmotherly. That's how it is. <laughs> look like grandma. And, <laughs> and, and, and these is actually prescription, bro. Uh, so you re- okay? Listen, well, listen. Not no prescription bro, glasses. Bro, I seen you drive. No, I seen no. you drive. You did not put no glasses on, man. Bro, can, no, I, can I talk? Can I talk? You remember? Hey, a couple yes, weeks ago? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, you, remember? Hey, you do hold look on, like it's making grandma. Bro. You root fight. Hold on, Lamar. <laughs> hold, hold on. Do you remember a couple weeks ago when you got mad at me because I was I, I was taking phone calls? One of the phone calls was to set up my eye appointment. I got my, mad. Yes, because you kicked me off. You kicked me off the stream because I kept I kept because uh, I didn't want to be shown on the live. Well, hey, you, the you, you hell of a you airing our family business, baby. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like we good, we good. But I'm hey, saying. Man, we still live, man. <laughs> but so I, I told you I was I had a I had a doctor's point. It was my eye exam for my astigmatism. A couple of days, uh, two weeks ago, I went for my eye exam. I had to wait for my glasses to get made. I picked them up a couple of days ago. These are my, these are my my these are prescription glasses for my astigmatism. Well, well, listen. Use your new prescription uh, prescription glasses and read the super chat. I got you. shout out to that man. Damn, Roland, appreciate you, brother. Reporter, who beat you in the one on one? If it ever happened in practice, Kobe, no one. I'm not trying to be like you know, but that's what I do. If there's gonna be a player that beat me, he retired on that last shot in Utah in '98. Bars, bars, spitting. Oh, All right, man. And, and we we know Kyrie. We know Kyrie tried to go at him. Of course, uh, he did. In, that, in that team USA practice, I think they were trying to they were trying to bet on it too. What was it like twenty k? They were trying to put up for it. I don't even know. Kyrie crazy though. Kyrie's a he he, but he's a dog though, man. Hey, uh, we go we go end it, man. Uh, uh Lamar, man, let everybody know where they can find your channel. No doubt, no doubt, man. Appreciate it always, man. Down y'all showing love over. It. Hey, RW Sports Network. Facebook, Instagram, the YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Man, we be dropping all kind of content, man. Uh, hey, I got to say this, man, and, and for real, and I'm saying this with all sincerity, man. I love how I like I seen y'all, y'all trajectory go, man. Y'all, y'all booming over here, man. Y'all, I'll be rocking with y'all. Damn, it's, it's almost been like four years. Yeah. Isn't that crazy. Yeah, you, day, you definitely a day one. <laughs> so, so like man, just to see y'all growth, man, and see where y'all going, man, and, and seeing uh the potential's always been there, you know, not like that Shaq potential. Uh you actually <laughs> <so free>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> potential. Y'all, y'all made it turn it into action, you know. So yeah. uh y'all didn't pull the Andrew Biden. Y'all y'all went full force, y'all getting it, man. So uh I'm proud of y'all boys, man. So appreciate it, man. man. Appreciate Thank the you. love, appreciate brother. Appreciate it. For appreciate sure. it. I did take one last phone call before we end because we ain't there two hours yet. Uh, hey, turn YouTube off, man. Call it from Louisiana. The boot. The boot. Is this Yo. is this Slim? Nah, this is real. What's up, big dog? Turn YouTube off in the background, man. I, I hear some feedback. Okay, okay. Hey, man, what, what y'all think about um, the Clippers can't put P.J. Tucker in now, man? Uh, uh, Ty not playing. I mean, they probably will in the playoffs, but I, I don't. I, I mean, I don't think it's necessary right now. They're rolling. They like the hottest team in the NBA. If yeah, they was losing, I would be asking that question. But if if you're winning, I mean, yeah, because because they trying to get buckets right now. 
yeah. with Hart and them and, and, and uh, Kawhi. Okay, I can see that, but listen, I know he P- PJ Tucker trained. was with PJ Tucker was with Philly, and I think he played like the first 10, 10 games in Philly, and, and, and the dude, uh, he, he, I mean. I, I want to. I want to say he missed like ten straight corner threes, which was supposed to be his specialty. He wasn't. He wasn't. Right. Do, he wasn't doing anything, and he ain't no defensive stopper no more. He just a dude with some dope shoes. So maybe that's what that's what's going on in L.A. I'm. We, we, well, I'm not seeing it, so maybe that's what's going on in practice. He ain't the same. Yeah, he might not be. He might not be. And then, oh. and then, and then, plus, who you gonna put him in for? I mean. Kawhi and PG thirteen are still both very good defenders and better defenders than PJ Tucker. So it ain't like you need to put him in to stop some star because Kawhi Leonard, you can throw him on KD and and he can do a good uh, job. You can throw Kawhi on Jimmy Butler, he can do a good job. Any wing play out there, you can throw PG or Kawhi on. So there's re- there's really no no point for a defensive specialist that can't give you any other offensive punch or a rebound and I mean he's just out there to try to agitate people and they don't need that right now. But if they do need it in the playoffs, if somebody get hurt or somebody miss a game, then yeah, they probably use him. He's he's right now he's a uh uh break glass uh in case of emergency. But thanks for the call yeah, though man. Thanks. We we gonna go ahead and roll right. man because we got to end the show man. Thanks for the call big duck. All right. All right. Boy, you start inserting PJ Tucky into the game, boy. You getting desperate, desperate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, even man. When, even when PG, even <laughs> when PG missed every shot the other day, they still didn't put PG Tucky in. <laughs> nah, they <it> sure did. Shout <laughs> out to Kawhi playing playing some playing some games this year, man. man he killing man. Yeah, he no load him. management, man. He, I think he only missed four games this year, just four. Kawhi doing his thing. Yeah, like, man. man. It's good to see the claw, man. I ain't seen the dude in a minute, man. And the Clippers, the Clippers done snuck into the top seed in the West, man. So I, do I, you feel do you feel better about them having two All Stars now, Mel? I I, I say this, I, I I do gotta I admit I was a little skeptical about James Harden how he's gonna you know fold into the to the joint and sound like it's it's working out so far. It's so far. I, we we got I I got to see this in playoff action though I got to see I got to see if if it's all good it's all look it's all good now but when when James ain't getting them shots and he crying about them calls and he dancing ain't playing no defense is it, what is his Clippers scene gonna look like then that's that's what I'm waiting to see well they can still look the same because I don't need Hart see Harden is in the perfect spot which is where he was at in Brooklyn. He don't need to be the one or the two. Him as a number three option, perfect. He was the number two in Philly. And then when you needed him and he couldn't give it to you, then you know that that was a bad that's bad juju. But you you always gonna need your number one and number two to perform. Your number two gotta give you something. Of course. Right. But as a number three, like I said, that that I mean, when you got Harden as your number three, that's what LeBron had the luxury of doing so many times, man. You got a number three. That's a fair and sometimes point, a number four. That's already certified. Hey, it's working now because it's a healthy PG and a healthy Kawhi. That's that's hey, my, that's where I'm shout getting out, at. Shout that's out where Michael I'm... Childress, man. I don't know about the World Series. We got a long way to go for that, but appreciate the love. Yeah, fellow fellow hometown love. But yeah, man, it was a good episode, man. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. I appreciate all the super chats. Appreciate all the phone calls. Uh, appreciate Lamar for coming through from IIW Sports. Appreciate Jay for showing up almost on time and Chris and all that stuff, man. And uh no, I was here before you. Yeah, you <laughs> Rude boy. <laughs> say it, Chris. Hey, 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 say rude boy. Hey, hey, shout, rude, out, rude boy. <laughs> shout out for Jay Cornrows, though, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we, was, hey, hey, we, hey, we hey, said before he got on. We said before he got on, he got them <laughs> D'Angelo's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, baby. How does he feel? That boy gonna get over here, gonna be yelling all the way up the stairs. Get the yeah. oil, baby. Get the hey, oil. Boy, hey, if I if I see Jay doing this, if I if Jay, if I see you doing this right here, <laughs> hey, if I see that, then take them joints out, man. 
Hey, I don't know. Said, I don't know why Lily <laughs> gave <laughs> gave his. I don't know why he she gave this old dude some hip like this, boy. Ah, but it's pissing me. It's pissing me off. He said, "Dim Jai." <laughs> Melvin mad because he yeah, uh, uh we me and Melvin are the same age and uh my hair still grows and his doesn't. Ooh, Melvin. not the Jaheens, man. Oh man. Hey, hey, shout out to Lil. Oh, I don't, I don't, Mel, I'm, Mel, when you re- when you retire, you said you was gonna grow your hair out, man. I'm I'm, I'm still waiting on that. I'm growing it out now. I, I'm, Let me see. You probably could catch it, man. I ain't, I ain't even coming, but you, it's mad at damn. But you probably could catch it. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Nah, don't, if I come, don't do that. Hey, in the show, take your hat off. In the show before you take your hat off. Don't do that, man. Don't you, don't you take your hat off live. Don't you do it. Don't, 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 